This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Trials Evolution, the arcade racing game from Red Links. Ride in real-time multiplayer with two to four players locally or via Xbox Live. Enjoy a rich single-player career with 50 brilliant tracks and a powerful track editor for endless fun. Download the free Trials Evolution demo today on Xbox Marketplace. This podcast is also brought to you by Insert Coin Clothing, the leading name in official video game tees, shirts, hoodies, and accessories that you'll want to wear. Get your geek on and save 15% on your order with the code InsertTeeth15. That's Insert Teeth. And the numbers one and five. Go for it. Um, you guys. This is, uh, this is Gus. <laughs> I'm Miles. We... What I'm happened Michael. over here? I turned to look at the camera. And... <laughs> no, I was just, what happened? I was just there, was, at... there was a slate, some kind of slate. I don't think they showed the opening stuff. Oh, no. That, they, yeah, they didn't show the opening this week. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. laughing at you. Hey, I'm like someone just walked in on you eating something really awkward. Oh, hey, guys. Well, we want to thank you for coming to our dress rehearsal for <laughs> right the before, podcast. Well, I'll tell you what happened. Right before we went live. I'm Bernie Burns. Someone over here said, I need a fart. I'm like, I need a fart. Oh, my God, I just farted. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, I was a little thrown off with uh, at the, at this point, the intro. At this working in this company for 10 years, how does that throw you off? Yeah, Seriously. I know. Come it's on. like you had, you, we've been sitting here for 30 fucking minutes. You've had 30 minutes to fart. It was a fart. joke, guys. <laughs> I'm throwing you for a loop. You gotta loop. do what you gotta do. Start the countdown. He so got who, nervous. who didn't introduce themselves? Everyone you. did. You're the only person that didn't introduce yourself. I'm Gavin. I'm, I'm Bernie. Shocker. So, that's great. Gavin, your teeth look remarkably white. Look that's absolutely it. not true. Do you, you, you have the you, best you, teeth from the UK? Oh, in all of the UK? Yeah. No, I don't think so. No. So what is that? Why? What's the stereotype that people from the UK have bad teeth? What is that people don't in the UK don't care about teeth? Or do they not brush? Is there like no dental hygiene? Well, I mean that would all go into like they just don't care about teeth. I don't know. So I mean, speak everyone, for all of Britain. Well, everyone of my generation had braces pretty much. You'd be it'd be rare for you not to. I made fun of all but, my friends because they all had braces and I didn't, and now it's kind of obvious that I didn't have braces because everyone else has perfect your, teeth. Your teeth are fine. Yeah, yours are fine. I have a big gap though. I can squirt stuff out of it. It's great. I was oh, nah, it up, but I'm glad you mentioned it. <laughs> so <laughs> was, in those days, was it like was being a dentist? <laughs> oh, Holy hell! Wow, you won't get it. It's, Come on now. He's gozing on me. There is a lot of equipment. Babysitting Miles. after a while, doesn't you. it, guys? That's some force. So, I know. I did to my brother. I want to be, I want to be in the beer. Has this been beer? Thanks, Stop. dude. I appreciate that. <laughs> so so in covered. those days, was like being a dentist the worst possible occupation in the UK? <laughs> if no one took care of their teeth and no one wanted to do anything? There must have been like that start of like, right, this is the generation of teeth are going to be good from this point. But the dentist tackling that moment must have been like, oh, I'm got, out of my league. We've got a long way to go. Like, <laughs> like where? Jesus. I do wonder though, like you see like uh, the Tom Hanks movie Castaway, mm. where he gets the sore tooth oh. and he knocks it out. Yeah. With an with, ice skate. With an ice skate. Have you ever had a toothache, like a serious toothache mm-hmm. ever? No. Anybody? No. I, I got fillings that kind of hurt from temperature, but that's like. I have. Yeah, but imagine if like that feeling of that temperature pain was constant that for like suck. three weeks. You'd knock your tooth out, right? I think so. Yeah. Because it, it would be like Or go to a dentist. Yeah, or go to a dentist. I also, probably, I probably wouldn't knock it out with an ice skate. I'd just wiggle it until it came out. And you can totally do that. Because teeth move. Well, teeth are loose. I can, I can pull a tooth out over well, time. Well, that, that would be yeah. really, really painful. painful. The reason that he just knocks it out is because it's one oomph, and then it's over what with. What I would do? I would, no. I would tease what? it. <laughs> what? Like, well, in the movie, no that's way. what it was. No, that's Ouch. Oh, thank God that pain is now yeah. gone. Oh, well, he passed out, so right. it, was, it was gone yeah, for a little while. If you're wiggling a tooth that's hurting, that's like every that's time. Awful. It's, it's yeah, but what, I would like tease like it back and forth, and, and then I'd tease every it. so often just like give it a real good That's knock. what you, okay, that's what you do Sounds with baby terrible. teeth. That's not what you do with normal teeth. You don't do that with baby, baby teeth Baby teeth, you never wiggled your teeth around when you were a kid? Yeah, like, but you let them fall When they were own. loose. No. Yeah, but they're no, no, falling no, no, out. That's what I'm saying. As it was, when it would get loose, I'd just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles is a parent, he's gonna be like a chisel and a hammer, just wang, wang. The roots are like already detached at that point, no? It's just like barely Well, no, I'm saying Gavin's talking about he can just wiggle his his painful tooth until it comes out, but you can't do, like, that. you can do that with a baby tooth. No, you can do it with a regular tooth. No, Are you, you serious? Sure you could. I, Quick, gap, yeah. How do you think <laughs> they pull the tooth? They just, they put more force on They put a pliers on it and you could yeah, still, but they um, rip it out. Yeah. I still have all my wisdom teeth, and every, I feel like one tooth came up every two years for like eight years. And like every so often it's like, like tectonic plates where there's just enough pressure and then it all of a sudden it will just go like and it's like and it will hurt for a day and then it will go, it will go. but I'm not looking forward to having them removed. Have you ever had to have any sort of like oral surgery or anything like that? Surgery, no. When I, I, like, when I was when I was a teenager, I uh, I had something. I think it was called an obentoma or something. It was essentially you made that up. No, it was a it's a it's a hunk. It was a hunk of <laughs> calcium that had formed in my gums. Like it was like I had extra calcium. Like they made all the teeth, mm-hmm. 
And that's then, where you get the drinking milk. But, yeah. but yeah, so I had extra calcium that was just like, I didn't need for all my teeth that was in my gums. Oh. So I had to have oral surgery to get it removed. And then while they were planning the surgery, my parents were like, go ahead and take out his wisdom teeth while you're in there, just to save the cost, which was really smart. Yeah. Uh, but I did remember- Did they tell you ahead of time? Or did yeah, you they, like wake they, up, you're like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I, it was awful. Um, well, it wasn't awful, but like they, um, the doctor, I remember, he was a really nice guy. I was kind of nervous because I'd never had any sort of surgery before, and they were going to give me an IV that would knock me out. General and, anesthetic. Um, yes, a general anesthetic. And the doctor, I remember while he was getting me all strapped in, he leaned down to me and he said, all right, now I'm going to make you a bet. If you can count to 10 before passing out, this operation is going to be entirely free. I already talked to your dad about it. I looked at my dad and he gave me a thumbs up. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Just trying to make me feel better. And he put in the, uh, the IV. And I was like, go. I go, one. And yeah. then everything just gets black. And then I just remember waking up like in a wheelchair <laughs> and then gone and then waking up. I'm in bed. That's I have no idea what's awesome. going on. You think like a, a more interesting bet for the doctor would be like, uh, I'll give you an over under. He gets to five or not. Like, <laughs> you, start, like you have to play the spread. Like I got to three. <laughs> I scored three points. Every even number is a free tooth basically, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would like, that'd, that'd be interesting because I, I, I feel like I could fight No, the thing is, like, I really do. All the so did I. Wait, 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 wait. Have you ever been put under? I have never, ever been put under. See, under ever. I, I have my I, wisdom teeth taken out under local. I've been put under twice, mm -hmm. and both times I thought that. I'm like, I can fight it. I can fight it. I can totally <laughs> yeah. do it. You cannot fight it. I had it. that no. when I, I, had I woke count. up eating barbecue chicken pizza. You know, it's like, <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even want this. I had to count backwards from 10. I didn't even get a chance to say 10. Because the anesthetic, it doesn't make you just fall asleep. It makes you give up. It makes yeah. you like, if you, if you want to challenge yourself to do it, uh, immediately it just makes you think, nah. Nah. <laughs> so. And th so right up until the time Michael Jackson died, we just call it anesthetic is what we call it. But it's a drug. And like, what is that drug, and why don't more people take I that drug? Th it's a class of drug. I think there's different kinds. But it's still something in the syringe, some drug right. that they take, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like nobody knows the name of what that knockout anesthetic drug is. Well, everyone, it's knows, just, everyone knows propofol now because of Michael Jackson. D is that propofol? Is mm -hmm. that one of them? Propofol. Dude, that is a serious drug habit when you get to the point where you're taking anesthetic mm -hmm. on a regular basis. That's well, just a lot of people are addicted to horse tranquilizers and stuff like that. Are they really? What? Yeah. A who's lot a, of people. A lot of people. A lot of people. I go to parties all the time. Drug. We take horse tranquilizers. <laughs> like, what do you want? <laughs> do you want to do you want some horse tranquilizers? <laughs> oh, take the, the tranquilizers. I, got, I don't know. I got work in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> One of the other dudes gets a big blow gun and blows it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. But your story, your story about the wisdom teeth is actually like my dad. My dad was so fucking old mm -hmm. uh, in comparison to me because he had me when he was about 45 years old. Because mm -hmm. um, I think we've talked about this before. My dad was a Catholic priest clearly was not able to have kids until he stopped doing that. Sure. And then he had me. Um, so he was so much older than me, and he told the story about he got his tonsils taken out, and he got them taken out so long ago that they knocked him out with ether. That's how they did it. They put, like, ether in a cup and then put the mask on his face, yeah. and he said it sounded like... He was like a 20s millionaire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <"Ugh." laughs> he said it sounded like a thousand bees in your head, oh and then God. he just passed out. It's like this huge that's, buzzing noise. That's awful. But that sounds the, terrible. The, the worst part about it was, was that uh, his little brother, Justin, got tonsillitis, and the doctor showed up. There's five kids in the house. Shows up, diagnoses, diagnoses Uncle Juddy, my Uncle Juddy, with... Juddy. <laughs> Juddy, that's what we call him. <laughs> How old is this guy? <laughs> He's the baby of the family. He's like 85 now. <laughs> but, uh, um, baby Juddy. <laughs> yeah. So they diagnose him with tonsillitis, and the doctor says, okay, well, I got to take his tonsils out. And they're all sitting there going, okay. And he goes, and since I'm here, you got the four of the kids, I'll take their tonsils out too for like X amount more, just a little bit more. You'll save money. And the mother goes, okay. So all the fucking kids <laughs> had to get their tonsils so, taken out. So everybody hated you. What a prick. prick. So the, the question is, so, <laughs> like, does the doctor charge, like, front charge for the, the, like, his time to travel there? Is that, like, the big expense? He's like, you already paid the expense for me to come here. Oh, the, the, the surgery? Knocking kids out? I, I'll cut them up right now. <laughs> I do that in my spare Pretty time. Much. I, I do that for fun. I can, I can actually understand that, working yeah. for an electrician for five years. It's like, you, you call us out to do one thing, it'll be this much. We do three more things, it'll be like 2% more. Yeah. Yep. That's actually how it works. How big yeah. is a tonsil? Like, you, can, is it? you can see it if you look at it. It depends on if you're sick yeah. or not. They get bigger, they swell up. That's what tonsillitis means. Does anyone, does anyone have their tonsils removed? Besides no. Uncle Chuddy? <laughs> <laughs> God rest I his got soul. Maybe we get a discount right now. By the way. <laughs> so I, I had my tonsils removed when I was 10, did, 9 or 10. Did you also get your adenoids removed? No. What that, the fuck? What, what is, is that? that? No, They're up your nose, aren't they? Like behind, like, like, like higher and, up the uh, head. So I haven't had tonsils for, you know, God knows how long now. 
And I went to the doctor a year or two ago. And he does the thing where you like open your mouth, puts the tongue depressor in, he goes, Oh, your tonsils look okay. I was like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't have tonsils. He goes, What? I go, I had my tonsils removed when I was like 10 years. Let me look again. So, yeah, whatever. That looks okay back there. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, Okay. You caught so a doctor in a lie? <laughs> yeah. So wow. I guess it means that if you can see him, you're in trouble. If you can't, you're okay. No, or you or that happen. guy was fucking crazy. <laughs> the guy just was phoning it in. He's yeah. Like, I just asked you what they look like, and you said you can see them if, if you got I told you, you said that. how big are they, and I said it depends on whether or not you're sick. You said he said they get bigger. They swell up sick. when you're sick, when you have tonsillitis. So do, do, when they cut them out, do they just have to, like, put your yeah, mouth exactly. open? They, no, it's really horrible. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, they the, just, like, hold your mouth open with a vice. I'll see if I can show you what the instrument is. Oh, no, I, no, I don't the want The instrument. Do you want to pull it up on this? Yeah. Gavin, Gavin, you Look up, I don't know what it would be called. Uh, be a tonsillectomy. You're got the keyboard the keyboard's upside down. Upside down <laughs> oh, well, I didn't do that. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I don't know what to be called. Like a like a tonsillectomy tool, but it basically looks Maybe like the stuff. world's most horrifying ice cream cr- ice cream scoop. Ooh. It's like they put oh. it over your tonsils and they just go clip and they just shut it on <laughs> your tonsil and Is just it chop as cold? it out. Aren't you supposed to get free ice cream after you get your tonsils removed? See, that that's thing? the selling point. They're like, oh, <laughs> after you get your tonsils taken out, you can eat all the ice cream you want. Ah! Ah! Does that... You don't want to eat any fucking ice cream. Geez. Also, oh, no, no, look at the tool. Look at the tool. Where's the mouse? Where's the mouse? Do I think that's a tongs. Hands, bud. Go to the other thing over there. What thing? That, the double thing there. Oh. The wine cork. <laughs> <laughs> what, that? No, the double are you really thing. The out by, bottom... By surgery stuff? Third over from the right. Can you not click a button? Up one and over the right. That one. There you go. That. There you I'm, go. I was click just trying. I was trying so hard not to look at everything else. That's disgusting. Good I lord. I spent too much time on. The, click on it the for the love Reddit. of God. I clicked on it about twelve things. times. There we go. Yeah, that helped a lot. There it is. Miles, <laughs> what is that? A so, site where you can buy that? Oh, yeah, we should I've get one. one. It's on a site called Exploring Twentieth Century London. Yeah. What are you doing over there? <laughs> I'm gonna take some horse tranquilizers and remove my own tonsils later. Tonsil party! Okay, quick question for you, Gavin. <laughs> what are the years that are included in the 20th century? Just real quick, off the top of your head, what are the years included in the 20th century? Any year starting with 19. That is correct. Okay. You would be correct. Your paws really. I like how you made me. a face. Like I, I was trying to think it. of the best way to d- to describe it, to uh, explain <laughs> He's all it. Proud of yeah. <laughs> you did What's it. You up, did it, buddy. Guys? I did good. Proud Miles you. Miles brings up a point where he said that like stuff like that doesn't bother him because he's used to like 4chan and the internet ruining him and stuff like that, which is fine. <laughs> I have an even more like just kind of like just disturbed childhood where oh, Jesus like Christ. when I was like eight or nine, for whatever reason, I never used to sleep in my bedroom. I'd sleep downstairs on the couch because like my mother would stay up awake till like 2 a.m. And I never had a bedtime as a kid. And she loved watching like TLC, like inside the surgery room and shit like that. So I'm like eight years old, just like watching TV. (laughs) And it's like the shot where there's like a doctor and there's like blood splattered all over him. And he's just cutting into people. And because it's like educational, they show everything. It's like they blur out a nip and that's it. And it's like, oh, that's a liver. That's a heart. That's the worst. I I once tried to make some extra money by doing editing for this company in Oxford where I used to live. And the first thing they got me to do was to cut uh, open heart surgery because it was like they did a lot of medical videos so I'm there like they, t- they told me about it I was like oh god I hate blood and all that stuff <laughs> I was like that to all the new I was like there. I was like oh, maybe be like close enough where it doesn't look like it's inside a person and the first thing they do is like get a rib separator out and they, they oh. put it on and I was just like cutting footage like this like trying to blur it and not really like it oh god <laughs> It was one of the worst days of my life. It's like, I was I don't pale. Have blood, but <laughs> yeah. I have to edit this video. I'll take the of job. An organ that all the blood in the body <laughs> passes through. Maybe there won't be so much blood. But you know, like how something is not offensive. Stuff is only offensive from a certain distance, yeah. like an asshole. Mm-hmm. You look at an asshole, you think, Christ. No, he's right. I agree. But if if you're over there, it's not offensive because you can barely see it. And if you've got a camera like right up to one of the creases on the asshole, it's not offensive either because it doesn't look like an asshole. It just looks like folded skin. Let me give you another example. <laughs> not asshole. You can be afraid of heights, but like the distance looking down from a plane, you don't get that vertigo feeling yeah. looking down from a plane the way you do if you're just 18 stories up looking down. It's like worse, yeah. even though you're much higher in the air. Well, it's because you're attached to the ground though. Yeah, also assholes. <laughs> That's also assholes. So um, people keep asking and wanting to know who drank the tequila last week. Uh, yeah, that is a big question right now on Twitter. Everyone is trying to remind us who drank the tequila. Um, he's here, and we'll let him talk in a second. But uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell the brief version of the story here real busted. fast. Um, so what was it? It was like uh, on Friday, Dustin came up to me and said, Hey, uh, i got to talk to you. 
I was like, all right, what's up? He's like, um, I'm the one who put the, the water in the tequila bottle, but uh, it wasn't my fault. I said, what do you mean? What are you doing? <laughs> they're, they're stuck <laughs> on me on the camera, so I'm mouthing your story, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to help out with the direction so, of the uh, podcast. So, uh, <laughs> do a little hand, no, wait, do a little hand for Why it. is oh. Gus's voice coming out of Bernie's mouth? So they said, so, so <laughs> Gus said it was him, but he did it because of someone else. And apparently he said, Kathleen drank the last of the tequila, and Dustin had previously taken a drink from the vodka bottle and had drank water out of that. Let so him he, tell the story. Oh, so yeah. Let him tell the story. Go ahead. So uh, we have Dustin over here. Uh, we're we're going to try Dustin something new with the podcast. We'll see if we can get Dustin. This is our defense podium. <laughs> to jump in. Oh, Dustin, I like the what? background. What? Dustin, <laughs> what is that image? <laughs> Dustin's joining us from the Great Wall of China. <laughs> hey, Dustin. Uh, Asian correspondent, Dustin. <laughs> first of all, let's, <laughs> D- D- Dustin, first of all, explain to us what you do for Roost Teeth. Uh, I'm an animator. Why is he looking and, over that? Y- you probably have to get real close to that mic, just so you know. All right. And you're the person who put water back in the tequila bottle. Yes. To understand that story, you first have to understand another story. So we have to go back in time, like, <laughs> like I don't know, like five months, okay? And it's late night, and I'm, like, animating, you know, and it's late, and it's a rough night, and I'm going to be there really late, and I'm like... I could go for a shot right now. So I go into the kitchen and I'm like, okay, there's this awesome bottle of vodka, which is like, it comes in a skull bottle. It's like an expensive, it's a nice vodka and it's yeah. unopened. And I'm like, I'm working my ass off. I can, I can drink that or whatever. So I'm gonna pour myself a shot and I pour it and then like drink it. And it's like the smoothest vodka ever because <laughs> it's just water. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well that's kind of weird. I guess like, uh, that's a thing that we do, I guess. Like, like for decoration? We, yeah, we yeah like it's bottle. decoration. Like we, we drink it all, but the bottle is really cool, so we put it back up there and it looks nice. Whatever, that's kind of weird, but I'll go back to my station and animate. So that's that. I took a shot of whiskey, went back, and that was the end of it. So then, so that happened to me. And then fast forward, like, I don't know, however many months, and it's like, we're working on a different project. And then I see Kathleen, and she's like pretty stressed out and first, let me just clarify, I didn't actually drink any of that tequila. But when I saw Kathleen, she was like, oh, well, I could go for a shot. But when she grabbed the bottle, it was already like, it was already empty, pretty much. Like, <laughs> pretty much. Like, there's like, she, 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 she seriously, exactly. she was like, she's like, I want a shot right now. And she goes to pour a shot, and it's like, it's only this much in the bottom of the shot glass. Like, it's the most half ass shot ever. And so then she, like, I think she didn't even, like, sh- take a shot of it. She, like, sipped it or something. And Classy so she lady. just did that, and then it was empty, and she's like, oh, well, the bottle's, the bottle's cool. We should keep the bottle. And I'm like, I think, and then I proceed to tell her the story I just told about what happened to me and getting the vodka and it just being water. And so I'm like, is that, like, a thing that we do? Like, is, we, the bottle's cool, so let's put it back up there with water. And then I think Kathleen was, like, busy, and, like, she didn't even care. or She probably didn't even listen to me. I don't know. <laughs> she was just like, yeah, okay. And then she just, like, walked off and went upstairs. So I was like... You know, like I looked at the tequila bottle and I'm like, that's kind of weird. And I was like, okay, well, she said, yeah. Okay, so I just like put water back in there and put it back up there. And like, I didn't think anything of it. And that was, that had to have been like a month, at least a month ago. So I didn't think anything of it after that until like, then I, like a couple of days ago, I'm sitting at my desk and we're like listening to the podcast <laughs> and I hear like, the story start where Barb is like, oh, yeah, so we poured the shot of uh, tequila, and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly where this is going, and I'm just, like, trying to work, and, I, and then it's getting, the story is obviously going in that direction. And yet you didn't come and say anything at all. You just, like, let us talk about it. Well, no, he said he didn't hear it until uh, I like, didn't. Yeah, I actu- okay. actually oh. didn't even hear the story until, I, mean. I guess it was yesterday, I think. Yeah, I think that's when I went and confessed. <laughs> Because I felt really terrible because everyone was like, some motherfucker. Well, we were talking major drinking. shit about you. It's yeah. drinking yeah, kinda all of the, the liquor and filling it up with water. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, it wasn't even like that, dudes. Like, I wasn't trying to, like, play a prank on anyone. Or, like, I didn't set up cameras, like, get it. And everyone was, like, talking about checking the surveillance and stuff. And I was I'm like, kinda disappointed oh, this man, like a... I've, I've, I've got to go tell someone. So Wait. I went and told Barb. And then Barb's like, okay, well, you need to tell Gus. And I was like, you go to Gus right okay, away. I'll, I'll tell Gus. But then Gus was, like, an achievement hunter. And I was like, I'm not going in there and telling this story. I'm like, everyone an achievement hunter. So I waited till I could like catch Gus later, and then had to confess. Man, you are blushing like crazy. That like, yeah. <laughs> That's, That's my side of the story. Sorry, I feel terrible. It's a really innocent escal- explanation. Yeah. Wait, it I'm, wasn't I'm, a fart. It was totally innocent. 
Who nope. filled up the skull tequila? Yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. That's still a mystery. That's they the got fuck? me. The double mystery. Well, thank you, Dustin. We appreciate you coming forward Dustin. and, uh, and telling us. I don't, I don't appreciate you coming forward. I, the whole thing <laughs> smells suspicious what? to me. <laughs> Conspiracy. <laughs> Dustin, is there anything else that you filled with water that we should Peace. know about, perhaps? <laughs> I'm no. almost done with my beard. You want me to, <laughs> do you want to fill it with water? <laughs> <laughs> We'll okay. fill it back up and put it in the fridge for display. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your vacation in China. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Right. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for having me on the show. Bye. Bye. He's like right over there. Yeah. Bye. Fucking Dustin, Satan. animator for Rooster Teeth. <laughs> left. So we're gonna. Dustin so, just walked off the Great Wall. Of China most and awkward. Died. We're working on ever. getting this so that people can start coming back in and defending themselves when we talk about them on the podcast. We have this little area we're working on over here, and we want to develop it so that we have. Like a rotating stable of terrible backgrounds that you have to choose from. <laughs> that was a great start. One of their, as one of, as what they stand up against. So, so. I'm only going to drink stuff that isn't clear from now on in the Rooster Teeth. Or office. just smell it. I mean, it yeah. was. Or yeah. just <laughs> drink it, and then if it's water, say, oh well, I, it's water. Yeah. I, I think the stuff in the skull has been in there for like a year. Oh I'm not, god, I'm that would a, kill you. A year old water. It'd be minging. It'd be like this. Yeah. And you think it'd be moldy, or like there'd be shit floating in it it'd by be that like point, right? Fungus. Why would shit be can, floating? Can, can, can like water? Microorganisms that are growing. Mold? But wouldn't they? I guess saying they wouldn't float in the alcohol, but because they wouldn't be living. Right. But there'd still be shit floating in it, like random shit introduced into it, right? Right. But I'm talking about mold. You know, growing in there. That's yeah, fine. Like Michael, it's fine. Yeah, I have a great story about that. So, this is like a couple days ago. It was late at night. I was going to bed. Lindsay was already sleeping. And I'm just like cleaning up around the apartment, just like p putting dishes in the sink before I go to sleep and stuff. And on her nightstand, she had a glass of milk. And this was like Thursday night, right? So, I'm looking at it and I'm like, is this from Thursday? Is this from Wednesday? Like, I have no idea what day this is from. It's milk. Yeah, it's milk, okay. right? So, I'm like, maybe yeah, she I'm had a glass of milk before already. she went to bed. So, I take it and I put it in the fridge. Like, I don't want to dump it out because it's almost full. So, I get everything ready and I'm about to go to bed. And then I was just going to take some medicine before I went to sleep to help me sleep. So it's like, I didn't want to open uh, like a can of soda or anything like that. And I'm standing at the fridge because I'm lazy. I'm standing at the fridge and the milk's there. And I'm like, it's probably good, right? <laughs> so like I grab it, I take it, I take like a swig. And right as I take the swig, I'm like, all right, good. It was good. I put it down and go, oh God, no. <laughs> like, I, I, like, it, 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 like three seconds after I swallowed it, this like disgusting Ugh. aftertaste. This is just like, surprise. And I can literally feel the milk like hitting my gut immediately. Never in my life have I had a reaction fast where I drink something and my stomach's like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> fuck. So I was like, I just went to bed, you know? It didn't really bother me, I went to bed. I woke up in the morning, I'm getting ready. I'm like, oh. God, my stomach, what is that? Go to the bathroom. All right, I'm getting right. Oh my God, what is that? Like the third time I'm in the bathroom, I was like, oh, fuck the milk. <laughs> it was bad. See, I don't trust, see, I can't, I can't just pick up milk that's been, like, because you leave, because of your spit cup incident, you can't trust any drink that has been set down and sitting there for an unknown amount of time. That is correct. Because of a, a if I lose sight of it. Because yeah. of an incident, an incident that happened to me when I was a little kid, I can't, do, I, I do the same thing, but only with milk. Um, only with milk. Only with milk. When I was a little kid, I was getting ready for my first day of summer camp, and I was balls to the walls excited. I was so happy I was going to get to spend like a week with my friends at this like ropes. They had like a ropes course, and like they played Dude, tag. It was tag. it was awesome. So I was really really excited. <coughs> that morning, I take my vitamins. I have a little bit of a glass of milk. I'm getting ready. I had some leftover like candy from like the movies or something. I had some gummy worms, those bright crawlers. Who the fuck I has leftover down... candy Dude. in the movies? Well, my dad buys a lot of candy at the movies. <laughs> you pack it out of there. It's like you? it's like like my well. See, here's what my dad does. My dad doesn't buy movie theater candy. He buys like in Who bulk. Does? Yeah, he buys in bulk. Like our 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 um ca uh, cabinets back in San Antonio are just stocked with like awesome candy. Well, then awesome what does the movie have to do with it? If you pre if you well, because I started eating it at the movie because he buys like the huge uh, like bulk size candy things that you have to smuggle in like in purses. Pockets won't work. And yeah. you're not allowed to eat the candy that's in the cupboard no. until you go through a movie theater? Well, no, what I'm saying is I had oh, <laughs> the movie isn't fucking important. But it's a weird well, you I brought it up. I started, I had started, yeah, I don't, it's, a, it's a weird detail to include if it's not important. Do you I take milk out of the fridge and then walk up to a cow and drink it? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I don't understand. What? Look, so I'm eating gummy worms. I'm excited. We're getting ready. I get all dressed. I get my little backpack. I got my little hiking boots on. Oh, yeah, everything Before, you own is little. How old are you? I was 
definitely in elementary school. I was maybe sec second grade. I okay. think it was second grade. Second grade, and your parents are letting you eat a breakfast of gummy worms. No, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. They didn't let me. I still had it like leftovers in my room. This from the, from the unopened bag of gummy worms right. from the fucking movies. Do you want to know what movie I saw? Yeah, yeah. what yeah, movie did you see? I'm sure you wrote it down, there. Miles. Pull out your cue card. Look, Clearly, it was anyways, a game. You could finish all the gummy worms. Anyways. We get in the car. Well, before before we get in the car, I take one last swig of milk. But it'd been like a while. It'd been a couple of hours. Like I got up really early, had breakfast, and I dicked around on the Sega Genesis for a while, and then I'm finally ready to go. But it'd gotten like really warm, and I don't know. I think it was just the fact that I was <laughs> nervous. But in my head, I will always just remember that last kind of warm swig of milk. On the drive there, my stomach started feeling really like queasy. I got that feeling like, oh, something's wrong. Yeah. My mom was just telling me, oh, it's fine. You, you, everything's going to be fine. I was like, oh, mom, I don't know if I can do this. And we're about to approach, because like we were carpooling, we're picking up my friends. We're about to approach like my friend's house. Like It's right like two houses down. I go, mom, and like it just starts leaking out from my fingers. Oh, so she God. Start, stops the car. And in front of all of my friends who are two houses down, I run out of the car, and I like vomit what looks like the white, milky, <laughs> animatronic blood from aliens that all the robots nice. had mixed with neon bright gummy worms Good all Lord. over the sidewalk. And I will always, I think it was just because I was nervous, but I always remember that toxic radioactive vomit with slightly warm milk. So my milk but has to be the freshest of milk. Think how close you were to being the kid who threw up on the first day of summer school. True. And that's something that traumatizes true. kids for the rest of their lives. Yeah, at least true. you got it out of the way in front of like a couple of close friends. They'll make fun of you, but it's not like out in the wild. You know, that shit's contained. That's true. Do that's you know true. people that have thrown up at school, like in public when they were younger, or <sighs> have been thrown up on? Kid pissed his pants in the middle of a school play that I was in. Yeah. It was awful. It, you never forget. That kind yeah. of shit traumatizes you. You never forever. forget, man. It's I, bad. I've known a handful of people over my life who threw up at school at a young age, and it made them paranoid of throwing up for the rest oh, of their awful. lives. Did they do the sawdust? Children are terrible. Yeah, they did the horrible sawdust. And, yeah. I, uh, I shit myself when I was in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was that was bad. Uh, there was like there was a, no, it was <laughs> that same year in kindergarten was the only year I ever had to take the bus to school, and there was always, and maybe it's just my memory's wrong, but I remember there was this one kid who pissed himself like once a week on that bus. He probably only did it once, but in my memory, it's like that kid. Uh, that was that one kid who always pissed himself on the bus. Did you have this? Everybody has the smelly kid in their class, right? Did it or was that? For me, a lot of young kids, everybody had a, knew a smelly kid. Smell, there was one kid that was constantly smelly yeah, in my in my kindergarten kid. class. Yeah. His unfortunate name was Jaime with an M, but to all us little kids, it was so easy. Like, God had done it for us. We just called him Heine because he smelled like mm. a Heine. Oh, God. Poor kid, man. I there feel was, terrible. One, one time when I was in third grade, we were sitting down. I think we were taking, like, a math test or something. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's third grade, so you have, like, the same teacher all day. She's yeah. So I'm sitting there taking my test, and all of a sudden, it smells like shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Like... I, like at first, I think maybe someone farted. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> this is staying. This is staying, difference, this is staying here. Yeah, yeah. it's like there, oh, yeah. Some, there, there is shit near me somewhere. <laughs> and the teacher's walking up and down the aisles to like make sure no one's cheating. And then she starts going, Does anybody need to go to the bathroom? <laughs> She's oh like, God. if anybody needs to go to the bathroom, go ahead. It's okay. No one got up. Oh <laughs> Whoever God. that was, man, he fucking sat on it. <laughs> whoever it was. And like, oh. you know, I, I came from a small town, so we all knew each other to the point okay. we graduated high school. He never came clean, whoever it was. <laughs> yeah. I know those people. Like, I knew those people till the, for the next 10 years of my life. I mean, whoever that was. Smart kid. That's taking, a smart kid. He's taking that to the grave, man. <laughs> Did you ever see that, that Derek comedy sketch with uh, Brian, the kid that likes to skateboard? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that. that's one of, yeah. <laughs> My name is Brian. I like the skateboard. I used to get, I used Probably to get wasn't the kids road fault. sick all the time or car sick. Mm -hmm. And so if we drive like, you know, to Pennsylvania or Baltimore or something like that, like a few hours, if we didn't stop like near like the three hour mark, I'd start getting sick. So one time I got in particularly like car sick or whatever. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, I got to pull over. I'm in the back seat. And my mother's like, yeah, yeah, we'll pull over when we get to the rest stop. I'm like, got to pull over. And I was with like a friend of mine. He was coming with us. <laughs> and I start, like, when Miles said it, I start puking, and I'm like, I go like this, <laughs> and it screams. And I'm like, <laughs> but it wasn't a little, it was full vomit, like, <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, I kid you not, <laughs> spraying through my fingertips, right? Like, it's through, it's through like trying every, to clog a leaky every pipe. every crevice in it's my like fingertips, it was, it was shooting out. And the kid next to me is like, ooh, and he was like, he was like climbing up the left side of the car. Like he was, like he was in a sinking ship when he was trying to climb out of water. He was like, ooh, ooh, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones. And it was fucking funny and shit. <laughs> Jesus. 
Did you like kids still tell them that story? He's like, yeah. man, I've seen some shit. <laughs> He's like, really? Anytime he gets in a car with somebody. Oh my god. He's like, the buffer. Please don't sit close to me in it the was, car. It was everywhere. <laughs> Gavin's not doing that. No, so it's well. just like, I've been, I've been surrounded by puke in my childhood. Like, I'm sure everyone has. The worst was when. Oh, what does that mean? Sorry. Well, but you can, you can imagine you like basting and vomiting. The worst was that I kind of get. Lord. I kind of get car sick too. It's, it's bad when I'm in the back of a car for yep. some reason. And um, usually I'm pretty good at holding it, but once my friend was also getting pretty car sick and he was sat in the front. So he winds down the window and just chunders. And the wind takes it and smears it all down oh. the side of my oh. window. So I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at like bits of corn and carrot. Oh, oh Gavin, God. Gavin, we're done. Not, and the no, wind is like rolling it in the sick along Wait. the window. <laughs> <laughs> not you puke, fucking asshole. Not puke, but one time I was in a car yeah. with my brothers, and one of them was in the front. <laughs> <laughs> we're, done. we're done. We're done. Wait, it's not about puke. No, it's not no, about puke. Change topic. No, it's, it's not about vomit. It's not about vomit. Okay. okay. My brother was riding in the car. I forget exactly who was who in this scenario. <laughs> there's actually it's two stories. Stop. One, stop it. Stop it. One, he spit out the passenger window. It went back and came back through the window in the back seat and it hit the person in the face in the back seat <laughs> and then another time uh, a friend of mine was over my house and we were upstairs in my brother's room and he, had, and he had a bunk bed and he was on top of the bunk bed and he was laying down eating Taco Bell and he was just <laughs> chewing and chewing and chewing and my friend looked up with his mouth open and a piece <laughs> fell out of my brother's mouth and uh. landed in his mouth uh. while he was looking up I can't, <laughs> I can't he was like oh, 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 go ahead Oh my I think God, they should. Uh, <laughs> they should just mute both of our mics. I know like it's a good idea. We should be, unplug. Oh that God. can't be good to listen to. Uh, when I was uh, in the fifth grade, man, a lie. I had to ride oh, the school no, no, bus. Oh no! Are you okay? I had to ride Let the school bus home, <laughs> and a kid in the front seat vomited while we were going uphill, and it trailed like a river <laughs> to the back oh of the bus. Lord. Okay, that's and enough. All these little kids Stop. Are Done. Like Stop. Done. Oh, so, let me ask you this question though. Let's, why let's have does, a let's have right? a oh, yeah, 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 God, why does Wet milk sunny. go bad like so quickly? Is, is milk the thing that spoils milk the fastest? Milk is already a weird thing. Like is dairy it, products are What weird. spoils faster than milk though? Anything? Uh, faster? I don't know. Deli meat spoils pretty quick apple. too. Deli meat doesn't spoil fast at all. I feel like yeah, it does. does. No, I think it's probably milk. Milk is so... I mean, if you leave it out. If you leave yeah, it out. leave it out. I mean, you can, you can have it in the fridge. It'll last yeah, days or weeks. Yeah, but you take a bite of an apple, you put it down, five minutes later, it's going to... Like, yeah, but you can gammy. still eat it. It won't make you sick. It just turns kind of brown from the air or whatever. Oxidizing or whatever, yeah. So I just heard this uh. rule of thumb that uh, the longer, for every hour that you leave something out of refrigeration, you're supposed to knock a day off of the expiration date. Mm -hmm. so, so it's like ah. if milk is good for two weeks, Why then can't it's 14 you... hours as long as it can stay out before Unless it's like... Unless So, come on, milk. can you really believe that? Like, would you leave milk on the counter for 13 hours and put it back and be like, as long as I finish it by tomorrow? Both Michael and I, like, I have a really bad gag reflex, but I, will, I don't give a shit. Like, if I drop some on the floor, I don't care. There's always something that's amazed me. So you get a carrot. A carrot grows in the ground, right? And then it gets picked by somebody that you'll never meet, like just some random worker picks it, throws it in the back of a cart, it travels in open air to the plant, they wash it off, they put it in a package, they send it to the store, it's in another fucking truck, in another box, somebody else unloads it in a loading dock, and then they put it out where everyone else in the supermarket comes by and touches it and picks it up. Well, that's why you rinse and then and cook it. it up. Exactly right. And then you take it home, you buy it, you rinse it off, right. you, you cook it, or whatever. You, no, say it's a carrot, you don't even cook it, because who needs to cook carrots? will suck. You rinse <laughs> it off, and then you drop it, and you're like, oh, now it's ruined. It's, like, <laughs> it's no fucking sense. Yes, I never understood that. When people, something, something hits the ground. It's yeah. disgusting well, what's to gross to me, the reason it's gross to me is shoes. <laughs> And the bottoms of people's yeah. shoes. Thinking about everything that people have stepped in. Because they go in toilets. Right. And then, like, the food that has touched the ground has now touched the bottom of everyone else's shoes. You're right. I don't think about it. It's like, I'm going to eat that. Yeah, I don't I, I worked Once you eat it, it's gone. I worked in a supermarket for three years on fruit and veg was my section. The amount of stuff I dropped upstairs <laughs> in the warehouse. <laughs> and I once knocked over an entire cage, like, taller than me, two stacks worth of apples. And they just, like, go... I was like, less like, 1,200 quid's worth of apples. I can't chuck them away. Just put them all back <laughs> on the shelf. I once got in a lot of trouble because I, I used to drop stuff constantly. <laughs> and what I would do is if I was like stacking the veg and there's customers around me and I dropped an apple, you want a beer? Yeah. If, if I dropped an apple on the floor, you meant, to, you meant to throw it away, but I did it all the time and you get in trouble for wastage and stuff like that. Yeah. So what I would do is I'd pick it up off the floor and like do a little lap of my section, pretend to throw it away and then just put it back <laughs> like 30 seconds later. And one time this woman followed me 
as I did that. And she was like, I saw what you did. <laughs> you walked around. I seen it. And seen you put the apple eyes. back. And I was like, you were fucked. And I was busted. I was like, I did do that. I did. I'll take it. And I just <laughs> walked off. And I, I stayed like in the background for like you half him? an hour. Yeah. <laughs> It would be funny if you did another lap and you came back to put it back and she was there She's again. Still there. I'm like, God, why do you keep doing this? I know lady, what you're doing. Don't you have stuff to do? Get out of here. You got a list there, lady. Keep going. Come she on. was like, Brett's not gonna buy itself. She, was, she, you could tell like she'd hit the jackpot. She couldn't believe. She, she was like so excited did, that she did, caught did me. Did you get in trouble? Did she tell anyone? I think she did, but I was pretty hardworking. I, I never used to get in trouble there. I just <laughs> hit for a while. How things have changed, huh? Flip side, I worked in a supermarket. No, what do you think? Do you think Gavin would make the lap today? <laughs> like, Fuck it. I used to work in a supermarket. I worked there for like almost a year, and the best job would be like stocking returns because it was just all the shit that people would bring up to the front, yeah. and either like they didn't have a coupon or it wasn't on sale, and they, they didn't want it. Their mind. Yeah, they didn't want it, so they'd stack it in a cart, and when that cart filled up, they'd have somebody from the front end go and put it all back. Yeah. So I'd be like, yes, I'll do it. You just go, walk down the aisle, and then do nothing. So it's just like, I would just walk around for hours, as much time as possible, and occasionally, they'd call you back up the front, be like, uh, you know, like, returns check up front to make sure like you were doing it. It's like, fuck! I'd go to the next aisle, like move everything out of the way, put everything on the shelf, and then put it all back, like hide it behind it, and then I'd go back up front. And they were like, terrible. all right, good. I was a piece of shit. I was like 15. <laughs> I didn't fucking care. It's like reverse shopping. As yeah. slow as possible. Yeah. yeah, so if ever like you find shit that's usually like mixed up and on different shelves, that's what people are doing because it's just fucking lazy. Man, I easy. hate that. When I'm at the grocery store yep. and like like you go around like people like put like something in a different shelf, like you're in the cereal <laughs> aisle, and then in the middle of it there's a steak. Yeah. You know, <laughs> sit there on the shelf. Refrigerated or frozen stuff's the worst. Well, it, let's just say not let's take that out of the equation. I can't put anything back. Like I can't put a jar of nuts in the cereal section. Well, because you feel it. bad. Yeah. yeah, I like Fuck people like you. That. Yeah, I, have, I can't. Say, I have, I have so here's what I would do: I would hand back. it to Jordan, and then she would do it. <laughs> oh, then you're a piece of shit. Because yeah, <laughs> you're just like <laughs> I take everything. Delegation. Right. You were like, delegation. I know nothing. Yeah. She would be like, she'd I, be like, give it to me, and I go here. You get to take it. See, I, can't say. I have the exact same system. I have to put it back where it comes from. My wife, she doesn't care. She doesn't give a fuck. She's like, well, now I just give someone something to do. Like they pay people to do this. <laughs> you're just like my, uh, you know, Bellman, Mark Bellman, who plays Delta in Red vs. Blue. And I've known him since high school. And he had this great theory at one point that he should just start littering because the litter creates jobs. So he's like, just chunk it. And what he a would scumbag. Just, <laughs> he would just throw shit away, just like throw wrappers on the yeah. ground and be like, someone, now someone will get paid. Want to fucking to murder him. Yeah. That's one of the worst <laughs> things to witness. That's way worse. It's yeah, so perfect so, though, because he's so logical. It's so perfect for that character too, to think like that. It's yeah. like, oh, if I litter, someone will have a job to clean it up then. That's terrible. I oh. love it. All right, here, let me read this thing real fast. I want to remind everyone that this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Trials Evolution, which is a game on the Xbox Live Arcade. You can check it out. There's a free demo you can download if you want to see what it's all about. It's only 1,200 points, uh, so it's pretty low cost. It's got a built-in track editor, just like Excite Bike back in the NES days, but way more powerful. It's got over 100,000 user-created tracks. Uh, and this first DLC is out called Origin of Pain. It adds a BMX bike. Uh, so if you haven't, I mean, you've probably seen a bunch of Achievement Hunter videos on it between uh, Trials Files, uh, Horse, and other things. So if you haven't checked it out, you really should check it out. It's a real fun game. I gotta ask you: Do do all of you people put your shopping carts back when you're done into the designated shopping cart? I, that I always. I do. used to not at all. I'm not care. Now I do it. That Thank I do. you. I was. I, I worked at. I worked at uh, a grocery store for a long time, and I would always. I was on. I worked register. And I was really good at it, but then I just got tired of dealing with people because we we were working. they're the worst. And they're the worst. Scumbags. It was a it was an H E B that was being turned into an H E B plus, which meant. What does that stand for? H E B. H E B. It's uh, Henry something Butts. Howard like a, Edward Butts. Howard Edward. It was the name of the founder. I was very wrong. <laughs> Anyways. You got butts. I got butts. You remember butts. Um, <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, no, I, I hated working the register just because I got tired of dealing with people. And I, you always do the things like, hey, did you find everything all right? And normally that's just something you ask when you work the cash register. But yeah. everybody there couldn't find shit because the, ha the place was constantly under construction and they were moving like the bread aisle every week. So everybody was livid at the cash registers because they're, they're the only people that ask, hey, did you find anything all right? Um, so I would no, always take... asshole. <laughs> you know, that was what it was. I had an old woman be like, actually, and I was like, please, lady, I just give me your bread. 
Did you ever um, cut them off? Like, you ever find anything okay? No, I didn't. That's great. I don't give a shit. No, I didn't do that. Because I, I had the slowest, like, items per minute in the store. I made up with it for, with the uh, charisma. Oh. Um, I but I, people coming up with, like, you can clearly tell they haven't, like, they come up with, like, toilet paper and corn on the cob. It's like, <laughs> no, of course I didn't find it. I think this is what I would buy. <laughs> I would never just buy it. I always, took the, I always took the parking lot duty, and even though it was, like, being upgraded to the HEB Plus, they still didn't have those, um, those cart pushing things that, like, every grocery store has now where you can take, like, you a whole train. Oh, yeah. They're so yeah, awesome. Like the dolly yeah, we didn't have feel. shit, and I was I, I worked there part early of in the summer. That job though is being the dude who can push like eighty shopping carts. Mm-hmm. I know it was awesome without the robot assistant. Now it's like you look, even though it was like a year it's after I robot. quit, they got all those like they got all the little robot machines. And even yeah. though it was only like a year after I quit, I was like, I remember back when I worked at HB. But um, I was in San Francisco this weekend, and they don't give you bags anywhere. Like really? they've done that thing where they outlawed plastic bags. That's starting when? Here? It starts in Austin, I think, this year. Uh, oh, coming wow, year. really? Yeah, this we'll, spring. Yeah, we'll see yeah. issue with that. That's well, interesting. He, so like they just don't give you garbage. bags. So you go to the grocery store, yeah, they just, bags, they? you just got a no. bunch you of stuff. Buy, you, no a lot of times they'll sell you bags. Yeah. 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 You like so if you want a life. bag, it's like, it's like a nickel a bag. Yeah. If you want but bags. we ended up going to like three or four places. We're like, nah, <clears> we can handle this. And then at the end of the day, you got a car full of stuff and you're like, oh shit. Then you get to take 14 trips to your car because you just don't have bags. I think a Walmart already is starting to do it. And I saw even at CVS, like they're, they have like a crap load of those uh, canvas bags up front and they're just like selling you those. And if you, if you come in with a canvas bag, they'll give you like X cents off per bag or something. So did you have to do that thing where you had like a set amount of things you had to ask? Like, did you find anything? Did you have to ask how? No, I just did it after a while because I got tired of carrying on conversations. So I just had like three questions that I would just ask over. I just, I I stopped asking. Asking, did you find everything all right? I just straight up stopped. If and someone I was like, asked me, Hi, how are if someone asked me how I'm doing, when I go up to the thing, like how are you today, I just refuse to answer because they you don't care. Dick. They really but, don't. No, care. You, they do. Well, I did. Oh, I, I did. Know. They, they don't. don't I did. I was See, forced. That's, like that's what I said. You I just was said was, you were using no, it no. to fucking kill conversations. You really don't care. I, I don't yeah, care you the really literally just said that like 45 seconds ago. You were just like, I just asked these questions, I don't so care they would shut the fuck up. Uh, I care. I saw a really awkward conversation at the grocery store by my house the other day. Uh, I was walking up to the checkout line, and I saw there was like two lines I could potentially get in. Mm. And there was a guy in this line, <laughs> and I saw him like look over to the other line, and he very quickly went over to it. I was like, okay, that's weird. So I got in line behind him. And uh, so there's like another person who's finishing checking out. She leaves. The guy in front of me goes up. And the cashier starts checking his stuff out. It's this girl. And the guy's like, hey, it's you again. And she's Whoa, like, nice. oh, hi. And he's like, remember me? Uh, and she's like, yeah, you're the guy. Obviously, like, she doesn't know who this guy is. <laughs> he's like, do you remember what I was telling you last time I saw you? Why do people always say that? Yeah. Why, why not just say, I remember what we were talking about, and I want to yeah. continue the conversation. And the woman was like, no, can you remind me? He goes, well, the lawsuit, it's finally, I've got my, I got my day in court tomorrow. Oh, my God. Like, Oh, congratulations. He's like, yeah, I think it's going to go really well. I mean, like, he's like, well, it was good seeing you. I'll, I'll be sure to come see you again next time I'm here. She's like, okay. And then he walks off, and then I go up to the cash register. I'm like, who was that guy? She goes, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All of the sexual allegations have been dropped. <laughs> <laughs> he is scot-free, and I will see you on Monday. It's like, how many different people do you see as a cashier, yep. especially, like, at a busy Lots. supermarket? I will say, I didn't even, that's, like, way more than, than I ever dealt with. But, again, dealing with uh, customers and stuff, working for an electrician, people would call us and leave a message. Customers we've had for, like, 10 years or whatever. But they'd call us and be like, oh, it's so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. Here's what we need. You know our number and hang up. It's like, no, we don't. It's like, it may be a big deal for you if we come, you know, once a year. But it's like, we go to fucking, like, you know, six different houses a day. They'd be like, it's so-and-so. You know where we live. So just swing on by. All right, see ya. Yep. Wow. Where do you live? Yeah, who is this? Yeah. Do you think he looks like Austin Powers with his hair straight? <laughs> yeah, people keep asking. They wonder what what is the deal with your fucking hair. I got bored. Here's you, what happened. You got I, bored, so you're waiting for your hair to grow. No, 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 no. Is that the <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a very long-term boredom. <laughs> no, 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 no. My hair is gross because I just don't get it cut very often. I'm like, I get my hair cut like twice a year, maybe. Same. Um, we have pretty much the same hair. <clears throat> he yeah. And I. So I was up. This is like maybe maybe two weeks ago. I get up and I was getting ready for work, whatever, and I went under the cabinet in the bathroom and there's a um, glass of milk. Yeah, there's a glass of milk in there. I drank that, <laughs> felt fine. There was also a sandwich in there that oh was delicious. <laughs> but uh, there was a straightener in I there. I like the fact you have to justify your discovery of the straightener. It's like, I was in a cave and I found this. <laughs> How you, can you, say, you can just say, I felt like straightening my hair. No, you're I like, didn't. You're not, that's the, besides the whole point. I didn't feel, I didn't wake up and go, I'm going to straighten my hair today. <laughs> I'm telling you, I woke up, I was getting ready. I opened the cabinet, I looked at the straightener and I was like, 
It's early. I'll straighten my hair. Like today. a hair straight, like a yeah, iron. Yeah, yeah. Like like an iron. I bought it like a year ago because I was at CVS and it was like it was like I just moved into my apartment and I was just like oh, buying your hair shit. straightener. No, yeah, it was mine. Oh. So I was buying things from my apartment. I was like, I'll get that. I'll get that. I'll get that. I'll get that. And as maybe you can attest, my fucking curly hair pisses me off sometimes. So in it a moment of off. sitting at Remember? CVS, I was just like, maybe I'll use a straightener. I bought it. Never even opened it out of the box. It was over a year ago. So a year later, I'm sitting here. I'm looking at it. I'm like, today's the day. I'm just gonna fucking use it. Mm. Never used one before. See, but the way you're telling the story seems like a like a drawn out excuse. Yeah. Like Gavin is saying, it's like the guy who bought the straightener, he's an asshole. But I just happened to find yeah. it after I bought it a <laughs> year mean? later. You could also tell it like, yeah. So I bought a straightener a year ago and I moved into yeah. my apartment yeah. and I decided to use it one day. Or I own a hair straightener and I use it. <laughs> but it becomes it's like it. I was delving under no, the covers. No, I, I was blew off the no, dust. I was having I have to tell the story. I have to tell the story because everyone's like, why did you decide to do it? What changed? Like there was some cataclysmic <laughs> event where I woke up one day and was like, today's the day. A it beam was, of it light was, shone down. Was, yeah, that's how you're. On that's how you're describing it. I was like. Hey, what's that? Oh, I'll use that. I've never used that before. It was something I bought and wasted money on. Anyway, I used it and was like, eh, whatever. So I've done it on and off. I didn't think it came out half bad. Gavin hates it. I hate it. I don't give a shit. You look like a fucking douchebag and I want to punch you in the face every day. <laughs> but I don't go like, Gavin, get face surgery. I think that's <laughs> you know? I don't give a fuck what Gavin yeah, three thinks I about my hair. Why I didn't do it to I didn't. Gavin, like, what is it about you that people threaten you with violence all the time. He just, well, to me personally, like I sit next to Gavin all day and he's very fucking annoying. He does any- Well, and, you're angry too. I'm angry and he's annoying. So he, see this face I, he's doing? Do the I face, do the face right bad. here. Tell do me you face. don't want to punch us in the face when I'm already upset with him. Like he's pissing me off and I'm like, Gavin, you're pissing me off. This when is I, what he does. When I can see him switching from like fake rage to like, he's actually getting annoyed. I'll do my smug nostril flare face, which is basically, <laughs> Why would I want to punch so, that in the face? I think it's the you know dopey I mean? indifference. You know? <laughs> and, Mike, and Michael comes angry to me. He's like, he's like leveled up to begin yeah. with. So I straightened yeah. my hair. Everyone's like, Lindsay did it. She had nothing to do with it. I was just like, eh, I was bored one day. So do you like it better? What does she think of it? Do you like she, it better? She likes this and the other way. She doesn't give a shit. She likes no. I like it better because I don't like all my curly hair. I hear you, man. I hear you. It's like one of the reasons why I don't grow my hair out. Or when I try to, then I just give up eventually. It's just... Somebody gave us these trading cards they made. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't in the office yeah. when they brought them by. And they used one like when I had my hair longer, like back during some of the last RT shorts that we did. And uh, I was like, Jesus, I'm, I, it's a reminder not to grow my hair out again. Yeah, your hair goes from like the length it is now to afro very quickly. That's well, like, see, there's no yeah, intermediate stage. That's the, thing, that's the thing that everyone said to me, because I straightened it. I yeah. came in one day, everyone's like, wow, your hair's long as shit. Oh my God, your hair's long. Like eight people told me how long my hair was. It's like, it's been this long. It, like, just, it just goes like this. And your hair like, is I, I, straight I, even now. It's no, wavy. No, yeah. it's wavy. I but have it's a, not this. I have a picture of you that I took in Amsterdam where you have a full on bushy beard. And your hair is long, but it's kind of like combed up to here, but then it's like curl. It's like a combed up fro. It looks like a new. I've never seen. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mushroom cloud of hair happened on top of your head. We should put it on a cloud of hair. <laughs> it's amazing. You, you, you can hold an immense volume of hair on, <laughs> on just your head part. I'm like, my head is what like is your the rest of you like? Basically, is the way it works. I don't even know this now, but Gavin, from like the neck down, is like a Sasquatch. I don't have a hairy back though, which I'm happy about. No, that's good. You're, you're like, you're At what age okay. does hair start growing on your back? Why are you looking at me when you ask that question? <laughs> you, you're cl Gus? you clearly have back uh -oh. hair, right? No, I don't think I have back hair. Do you have back hair, Gus? Uh uh. You don't? Uh -uh. You're gonna be riddled with it. Riddled? Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be riddled with back hair. Yeah, probably at some point, yeah. My back is, is so smooth right now. What's that? It's really smooth. I have oh, the I have like the back here, like right down low. I have a little bit back down there. That's mm. why I have some hair. That's like your butt. Your butt, butt hair is creeping up. That, that's my butt. <laughs> <laughs> your butt low butt. back back here where you sit is your butt. What the hell is that? Who's that dude? <laughs> that was my hair. Is that you? So is that you? To the laptop. That was uh, that was I used to have. Your head hair. is a completely different shape. <laughs> that's not your that's skull. Not, that's that's totally me. I, it's probably his skull. That's me before I grew a beard and before I cut my hair. Miles, I, you, wow. look, you look like a nerdy kid that somebody made up for a movie. <laughs> you look like, you look no, like McLovin's nerdier brother. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I Did you like, almost say McLovin? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, there's one where I look really tough and angsty. Like, they, look at that. Look at the emotion behind that. That isn't you. <laughs> you can't just show pictures of other kids and say that was no, me. That's absolutely me. And isn't that like four years ago? That's me when you? I was 15. I mean, that right? was like four years ago. It's like five years ago. Shut up. I've it's never like seen someone change so much. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Oh, I, I, can't. Can, I can beat you on that. It's change is pretty <laughs> drastic. Yeah. It's yeah, I've seen your old uh, yearbook photo, Bernie. You're, uh, you're totally different.
Person. Are you signed into your own Facebook? Yeah, right? I signed into my Facebook. That's I, a bold move. I don't know how else, how else to get that. Are you friends with me on Facebook? No. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm going to stop looking at my Facebook. Yeah, cool. I mean, this, I'm glad it's it turned into a Miles as it photo is. album. I'm turning this shit I will off. give either of you five bucks to change his relationship status right now. <laughs> no. When, do, when does uh, your girlfriend come back from, she, uh, she comes from back Banga in, Dude Country? Yeah, she comes back in exactly one month. She'll oh. be back on December 20th. So you went and saw her halfway through the trip? I did. I did. Okay, so how was, was Paris? Paris was awesome. From, I talked a little bit about it last time. What's up? From touchdown to intercourse, how long was it? Uh, the no, tech, don't, Bob, don't, you don't have to tell the story. <laughs> you don't have to tell the story. No interior did. Come on, Miles. This is the kind as of short as it exactly, possibly could have been. Exactly Nation. what I'm talking about last week. You would never answer a question like that in a million he years. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He <laughs> absolutely would not. But you'll ask the Damage question and like you'll the, stick with it until he yep. fucking answers it, but you would never answer <laughs> The question a million years. Yes. Come on, Miles, do it for the people. No, I just say it was. A sh it it didn't people. take long. <laughs> All the people. <laughs> I give him the face. I give the people. <laughs> She's like Bane's grandma. That's like, that's <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Does this one work? It's like yeah, Bane's grandma. It's kazoo. not working. It sucks. For the people. Oh, there we go. Oh, Michael. No I hate it. No I hate it so much. <laughs> it's the worst. You just need to answer your question. Annoying. Shut up. <laughs> Shut your mouth. All right, real quick, let's go to some topical stuff here because I'm curious. Anybody at all played the uh, the Wii U? Anybody? New? Well, New? I, pl I played at the Wii U Experience. The uh, uh, Jack took uh, me, Carrie, and Ray, and we all went down to um, all went down to some place downtown where they had like the Wii U. You could play Pikmin. You could play. Uh, zombie, you can play the Mario games. So, to I'm, answer the yeah. question, yes, you played a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Alright, what? I fell asleep. I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ, is this like the exposition <laughs> podcast? I just, you don't have to explain for five minutes the answer to a fucking question. No, I have not played the Wii so U So, we yet. stopped off, we stopped off and got some movie theater candy, and then we got so, some stadium hot dogs. I saw a Wii U commercial, and I thought about buying it. Then I went down to the store, and I looked at the line for the people waiting for the midnight launch, and it was kind of long, so I went home. Then I really regretted it, and I went to another store. No. Oh, oh my so, god. So, Gus, I have played the Wii U. I played it this weekend. <laughs> and it's fucking great. Give me a beer, would you? I, 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 I'm really kind of disappointed. I, I think I would be smarter at this point that I would uh, just go ahead and pre order hardware and then just not go get it when it comes yeah. out. I don't know why I didn't pre order the Wii U. I, the reason I didn't do it was I felt I got burned with the Wii. Nice uh, catch. Ninja like, I, bo I bought it the day it launched. God damn it, don't fucking throw shit at me. Mm. I bought it the day it launched, and uh, that one it was fun at first, but then I just never used it the last two or three years I had it. So I just didn't see any I'm need to buy the, the Wii U. It's, it's an HD Wii, right? Yeah. Wii. Why didn't they cool it? That is, by the, by the way, one of the coolest experiences, because you have never seen Mario, and that's the only game I've played, by the way, is the Mario game. Because I don't know why you'd play anything else, but... Uh, I hear that Zombie U game is pretty good. Yeah, well, it's got a terrible name. It's fun name. for a demo, and then apparently it gets really, really old. Is mm. what everybody's saying. So like it's all just speculation stuff. reviews that we're doing at this point. I like it. Uh, but the the cool thing about it is you load it up and you see Mario in HD, and it's cool because you've never seen that before. Yeah, because you know? doesn't you he look like Mario playing on a screen that's this big, that's so far away you can't tell anyway. Yeah, but there were Mario games on the fucking Wii. You yeah. idiot. Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, it's. I'm what telling kind you. of shrug <laughs> is that? <laughs> <laughs> you just counted your entire point, and you're like, Meh. no, I was comparing it to like on a DS or something. Yeah, but they, yeah, the, but but they have it's always been a console game. It's been on every single console. Well, it also is American. I said you get to see Mario in HD, and he goes, yeah, because before you only saw it on shitty screens. That's exactly what I fucking said. <laughs> <laughs> it's HD. the first time you've seen it in HD. Uh, what, did, it, did he look that different? Really? It just looked cool to see Mario big in an HD. It was kind of, it was very yeah. vibrant. It was cool to see it. I'll Thank never forget guys. seeing Mario's face in 3D on the N64. That was it's cool. It's just HD is just distance anyway. If you can't see the pixels, cool. HD, why not? HD is just distance. So you're saying like an SD monitor, if it's far enough away, is HD? It's high distance television. It's high distance. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be as far away as possible to use it. Is that what it is? High distance and short distance? Mm. That's what the U and Wii U says, where you go over there. <laughs> you. <laughs> and then watch it from a high Wii distance. Wii <laughs> But uh. it was cool, because I don't know how much you guys know about the Wii U, but it comes with this enormous controller right. that's like a tablet slash controller, and it literally is like a controller this big. Because mm -hmm. that's what I want, a <laughs> controller that's bigger. That's what I'm thinking, like, man, this 360 is great. Wish they had the original Duke controller back. But you know, it's bigger than that. It's literally this big when you hold it, and you have a TV in the middle of it, and you can't parody the product because the product is already bigger than any parody you would make. I mean, like, you literally couldn't make fun of how big this thing is. Is it like it's as big as your you. laptop? It's about, yeah, it might be that big. Jesus. Come on, no way. It might not be that, that tall it's not that like long, that, though, yeah. but it might be that long. Yeah, Why don't you just that? hold the TV? And it's, about, it's, almost like, it's almost like the keyboard. It's almost like this keyboard. The keyboard's a pretty good yeah. size, yeah. It feels comfortable, but it, yeah, it is ridiculously large. But the cool thing is, so you're Wait. watching, like, on Mario, uh, you can play in what's called boost mode. 
and uh, the person is playing with a Wii controller, and you're watching them play. Like, it's, it's synced, the two views. And then you can touch and add, like, little platforms for them to jump mm, on as mm-hmm. well. Or you can fuck with them and put them in their way. See, here's... And, things like that. and you can, like, if they're going to land, like, go down a hole, you can make a p- quick platform and they land on it. Just by touching it. That's kind of cool. It's, it's really cool. Uh, but it's really yeah. cool. I don't know. Oh, yeah, here. good point. Excellent <laughs> counterpoint, Mr. Free. My, my but, thing, you know. Were you on the debate oh. team? <laughs> yeah, my that's thing pretty with good. It, my <laughs> thing with it is it's a really, it's a really neat feature, but I feel like it's if I were going to be gimmicky. Like, if I were gonna, yeah, well, no, it feels gimmicky. If I were going to play Mario, I'd want to play as Mario. I don't want to be the guy laying down the block. That's like playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and getting to play as Tails. Tails. Like, no, but to be fair, Tails, Tails could, could carry Tails. people, dude. He could carry people, but do you want to play as Tails? We traded off playing. We played one level as Mario, one level as the person with the tablet. And after a while, I just wanted to play as the tablet. Really? Yeah. Okay. You were, like well, tapping, man. Let's get him out of the way. And it was fun to see, like, podcast. if you could put platforms. Under the <laughs> yeah, but you don't need a. Th- why can't they just have an iPad app that syncs to that and do it that way? Well, it's, you probably can. Because like, they don't sell iPads. <laughs> they sell their controller. Well, Xbox doesn't sell iPhones, but you can still control your Xbox from an iPhone. Yeah. Huh. But they have. But, <laughs> but they don't make a hardware accessory with the display. They want to just sell more shit. And you're making Gav has two responses. <laughs> you're making and, a good oh. example though, because Microsoft Ooh. is now integrating Surface into all the stuff that they're doing. Mm. It's Dude, a new thing that's happening. That's cool. It's called asymmetric gameplay. Gus and I played a game today that was asymmetric, and it was a lot of fun. Controlling yeah. my Xbox with my phone is one of the best things ever. And the fact that you can instantly launch stuff. What? I just use my remote. I don't get it. I don't have a remote. But, oh. but the thing is, with the remote, even still, you're going through all the menus. I can just be playing a game, or I say, say I'm watching Netflix. I can just be scrolling my phone and just be like, Hitman. Boop, and it goes. That is awesome. You could and also go, press like, the, 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 the middle button on the controller no, no, no. and then hit Hitman. Boop. Yeah, but then I'm in the guide. I go to flick over yeah. to reset. Oh my god, how precious is your time, well, no, Gavin? Right. It's, it's actually I'm, really cool. Or you I, could, I'm usually on my phone anyway if I'm watching Netflix, and I can or, just be like, I'm going to play Hitman. And I press it, it'll be like, do you want to play Hitman? It's like, doop, play A better example is you're playing a game and you want to get to Netflix. That's a pain in the ass. Okay. Like if, it's not, if it's not in example. recent, it's oh, a pain in the That was the example I was going to make. I they could have tried to help way. with that by adding didn't. the pins. Have you used the pins on but, that? But this is like one touch. That, you still right. have to go to the pins and everything. Right. Yeah, I have used pins. They're great. I like the pins. Pins yeah. are nice. And, uh, the is, is it me, or does like, the pins take forever to load? Mine's fast. I only have like really? six pins. I can't so set a pin. I try to pin some into my home page. And it just spins forever. On the dashboard? And also, it's not on the it's not on the front anyway. You have to go into a separate menu anyway. I just you use recent. That's all I ever use on that. Just yeah. go to recent. I, only... Re- I don't know why recent is, is like four clicks away. To they get also recent. changed it like just from now. quick launch to recent. I don't know why. No, it was quick play because there's so much on there that isn't a game now that they just changed it to recent. Like you can't play, you know, Zoom. You can't I play a movie. Can, can you? It's, it's, it's just wording, though. It's still the exact same feature. You can't play a movie or a song. You changed it. You need to, uh, you I think. <laughs> should we address the things that are on the table? Let me uh, let me read this here first. Then we'll talk about. I realize how long it's been. Oh my god, the turkey's still here. I can't. Be- I I'll, meant to get rid of that before we started. Thing? Kara's well, just really proud of it. No, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 wait, wait. Miles, Miles, you're not gonna feed it. Let me read this first. Let us read that. Uh, so I want to remind everyone that uh, this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Insert Coin Clothing. <gasps> Carol, look what you did. <laughs> um, uh, Insert Coin Clothing has started shipping their, fe- their holiday pre-orders. Oh, so they got their new Assassin's Creed Tomahawk hoodie, uh, their BSAA Spec Ops unit shirt from Resident Evil, and they have some Sega console bags now that look like uh, the Dreamcast or the Genesis. Uh, they've got Black Friday sales going on with uh, up to 55% off selected t-shirts. <laughs> And deals every day at uh, 4 p.m. GMT, which is 10 a.m. Texas time. If you use the code root insert T15, you get 15% off your order. Uh, they got a lot of great products. Michael's wearing a shirt. I'm wearing one of their shirts. Uh, one of the things that they have that's not on here is they have a uh, Assassin's Creed bathrobe, which Jack is really excited about. So you should go check it out. They got a lot of cool Assassin's Creed bathrobe is a hoodie. Uh, yeah, it's got the hoodie and everything. <laughs> So uh, they're doing sweet. a Black Friday sale, not a Cyber Monday sale? They have a Black Friday week-long sale. I see. So what? it's all this week, every day at 4 p.m. GMT, which is 10 a.m. Texas, 8 a.m. West Coast, or 11 a.m. East Coast. Okay. They'll put up a, a new products with 55% off. At 4 p.m. GMT. Mm-hmm. Or is this like Gavin would do? Whenever Gavin hears a number in dollars, he always says, what is that money? And then what he converts it to pounds. Yeah. Do, that, do you do that same you thing with time admit, at all? If you have a base of currency that is higher than the one you, your secondary currency, you want to go with the one that's more valuable. If yeah, someone says it's, it's a lower number. Which is good. Why? Can I, we, well, no, that, no, I get what you're saying. The pound is more valuable. But so why I'm, would you convert down? Like you say like you have, uh, say $100,000 US, 
you want to convert that to sixty thousand pounds? Because if if I because the given, pounds are like real money, say and someone we're, we have like monopoly money. Yeah, or something. Some, someone gives me twenty thousand dollars. It's not. Tw I'm gonna think twenty thousand. I'm gonna think that's a lot, and I'll be like, oh, hang on, what's that really? Yeah. Ah, it's like twelve. Okay. You have to, you have I to get like, what you're saying. rebalance yourself. You're like one of those people that every time they're told a high dollar amount, there's always that asshole in the room who goes. Yeah, but you got to give 50% of it to taxes, which, first of all, is never fucking true. You don't get 50% of taxes on anything at all, ever. And yeah, you do. What do you get 50% of taxes lottery. on? Lottery. Lottery. Well, no, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. In that tax bracket. It's, almost, it's like 45, I think. Wow. Listen, there's a lot of stuff that people don't understand about taxes. A lot of stuff. The, the, one of the biggest misconceptions that people have about taxes are tax brackets, that if you make X amount, you're taxed at a certain rate, that's not the way tax brackets you work. You only tax above that bracket. Is that fun conversation? Ex exactly so if, right. if you go over the 50% threshold, you only pay 50% oh on counting. the amount above that threshold. Exactly right. People think if you make one more dollar, <laughs> you're yeah. going to lose money on all the other dollars. So, so it's like oh, trying to I land at the top of the last the bracket. Right. That wouldn't make any sense. I know. It's, it's something that people have never understood about tax brackets. So I'm going to find out. You think if you get lottery winnings, you get taxed at 50%. Yeah. Let's just talk just federal I, income tax. I believe tax. it's 45 to 50. But just, yeah, it's right. just federal income tax. Yes. Okay. I just want to point out quickly, when you mentioned the insert coin and the Assassin's Creed stuff, their hoodies are cool because they actually have like the tips, yeah. like the Assassin's hoods. Yeah, just they put, the tips. They do a, well, I think it's they, like it comes down like like the Assassin's hoods. I think they like oh, custom really? dye a lot of their shirts. That's they're they're uh, really it's high really quality cool. stuff. And they're based out of the UK, but they do ship worldwide. Uh, don't worry, they have a cap on the maximum amount of shipping that they'll charge. So even if you order stuff from the US, it's, it's totally reasonable. Check it out and use the code insert teeth 15 <clears> for 15% off. Kara went out and bought this turkey today because you're gonna press the button. I'm gonna press the button. You already pressed the button. Didn't. And it does this horrible thing for a few seconds, and then it gets worse because it does a, like a remix that turns into this song. Can I see that? Here's the thing. Yeah. Here's Gavin, the thing. The honors. Kara goes like, Kara looks at me and I say, Yeah, that's really annoying. She goes, No, you don't get it. I go, What? She goes, It's a turkey doing the chicken dance. Huh? Uh, like she was so proud. Please do the honors while it's singing. She tax on lottery winnings is thirty-five percent. Really? People always throw out that fifty percent number. Turn it off, please. Shut that yeah. thing fucking up. Get rid of it uh, now. Come that's on. That, oh, that's just on the money that you receive. <laughs> that's if you get a lump sum. Now they will pay you less if you take it all at once than if you spread it over the years. But that's just mathematics from the lottery. Right. That's yeah. their. That's the prize thing. That has nothing to do with taxes. Whatever. Joe is stalking the fake turkey right now, by the way. <laughs> Carrie showed that to me earlier. Be... She turned it on, and it started walking on the table towards me, and I just swiped at it and knocked <laughs> it across the fucking room. It even says the state of California uh, oh. makes lottery winnings exempt from state income tax. What? Yes. Well, so it's better to win the lottery <laughs> well, in California. Well, I assume they want to incent people to play the lottery. They don't want that to seem as a barrier, so they get more money on that end. As a reader pointed out, mm -hmm. California actually exempts state lottery winnings from its income tax. I wonder how many people... So does Pennsylvania. I wonder how many people have ruined friendships on the exact moment they won the lottery. Probably a lot. Just like, a lot. <laughs> I'm out. The and worst <laughs> the worst would be the people that go in as a group. It's yep. like, hey, eight of us bought these row of 30 tickets or whatever. And then, of course, whenever the winner comes up, the guy would be like, well, the first 25 was everyone, and then the last five were mine. No, that's actually happened. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Yeah, that, like they, they, bought, they would go in and buy lottery tickets together. They bought 50, and he but goes, then, oh, see, I also bought one of my own. Right. And that was the one that won. Yep. Of course. Were, yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. And there's really not much you can do about that because whoever's got it, they've... They, they they're holding do it. Do they have to? Can you remain on, anonymous? So if I no. some some states you can, I believe. Can you? Yeah. So I can secretly go and redeem and then not tell anyone. Uh, at least in Texas, I don't think you can in secretly Texas you, win. In Texas, you cannot. Money? You have it's public. Is there an amount here? Like, what's the top amount that you should have in a bank account? Fifty. Fifty grand. I don't know. It's whatever's <laughs> probably the most that's insured by FDIC. I would assume. Okay. Now listen. During two thousand eight, when the crisis happened, right? It was originally like, I think, 100000 when we were younger yeah. uh, for FDIC insurance. Then they put it up to a quarter of a million dollars in an account. And then I think during 2008, they just said, well, there's no limit. Here's the bottom line. If you get to the point where you're defaulted, like all these banks are falling apart and the FDIC is bailing out like Bank of America, it's not really going to matter if you get your money back at that point anyway because your money that you get back is going to be worth so little. Yeah. The dollar is going to be so far so down if the government is bailing out like Bank of America and, you know... Some, something fucking awesome happened to me the other day. They'll just day. be printing money to do that Sex. stuff. 
Um, <laughs> yes, sex. Nice. But on top of that, you know, I hate Bank of America. Why? And uh, just because they, they fucked me over so many times when I used service. to be their customer. Yeah, they're terrible. I, I want them to go out of business. But um, <laughs> I, got a, I got a letter in the mail the other day from, uh, from a law firm. I was like, oh, what's this? I opened it up, and I guess there was a class action lawsuit against Bank of America, and uh, it was my settlement check for $3.24. Nice. And I was like, I, I started laughing maniacally when I opened my $3.24 <laughs> check from Bank of America. I was like, fuck you. And I, <laughs> I deposited it immediately. You actually like deposited yeah, the check? Yeah, oh, definitely. Did you go to the bank and do it? Yes. Did you go to Bank of America? Normally I would deposit a check like with my phone. That's genius, by the way. I had no idea you could do that. Yeah, but I was so happy. I, I actually took it to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What an asshole. Yeah, I, I, was wonder, like, how, I wonder how many people thought, eh, fuck it, I'm not going to deposit Probably it. a so lot. See, that if you don't deposit it, it goes to attorney's fees, I believe. Oh, okay, i got to okay. point this out. So, somebody was heard us discussing the size of the Wii U controller, and so they thought they would help us out, and they posted this helpful photo on Twitter. This is user at Mr. Puck did this, and he said, here's for reference. Here's the size of the controller in comparison to the Wii U box. Hey, dipshit. Every product is as big as its own box. <laughs> That's why they make the fucking boxes for it, okay? God damn it. How are we supposed to know how big the box is? All of Twitter is about to Jesus. make fun of that guy. Because hey, can of somebody send us photos of the new iPad mini in comparison to its box? <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, God damn. So the other thing we've got here on the on the table is this Ford and a Don that I've been working on for a little bit. It's where your chef's bigger at. than that. It's big. It's much bigger. I got to read. Oh, it's it's it looks like a rectangle. I'm, I'm only a third of the way through. Get to what? work. This is the back portion of the ship. Where's the rest? It's still in boxes. That's over there. just like in Halo. It's it. broken apart. Yeah, <laughs> this is the Halo Three. You did the Halo Three. That's the just the forward. You should part. check this out. Uh, Cortana lights up. What? Show the camera. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if the camera can see it's kind of wow. far. It's kind extremely of far. far. But, uh, Trust us, audience. High distance. It's That's a high distance. It's a light they, they, they emailed me, the Mega Blocks people, and they were like, do you, you know, would you want one of these? I was like, yeah, definitely. And they said, uh, we can send you one that's either pre-built or one that you can build yourself. And I was like, oh, it'll be fun. I'll build it myself. That thing is 2,800 pieces. <laughs> Holy shit. How long did that take you? This has taken a week. <laughs> <laughs> so we've all been working night and day on the gauntlet, and you've been over here building a fucking Mega building Blocks Lego, set? A building I Mega hate Blocks, you yep. so much. Have you time-lapsed it? No, because it was going to end up taking so long. At first, I wanted to. Just take to. one picture a day. I guess I should. It's got little levers. Well, a little Ooh. chief. Careful, don't break it. I I'll, broke the I'll, chief out. Oh, my God. I'll be heartbroken. <laughs> yeah, Give that to me. They did, um, they did no, a cool... They, they, I, want, I put chief. it out here because I wanted to talk about... Hold on, I want to look at the chief. Madonna hey, do yeah, we have the box so we can put it next to it for comparison? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do. Man, it's Master Chief is really big. I was just going to talk about... Because we were talking about time lapse. They did a cool thing in the second episode of Four One Into Dawn where they time lapse the four years that Master Chief oh. spent in space. Oh, that was yeah. neat. How it's like there's all this stuff floating around that's like, and it's like icing oh, up fuck. slowly. It yeah. was an awesome shot. I never even thought about like what a time lapse would look like in. Yeah, all the, all the ice building up and everything that was a, badass. A weightless environment. Jesus. That was my favorite part. <laughs> Um, Are so you yeah, the box? We never really properly talked about Forward Unto Dawn once it wrapped. I thought maybe we could talk about it a little bit. I liked it. Gus, what is Forward Unto Dawn? <laughs> it was a, a web series, a live action web series explaining the events. Uh, well, I guess explaining... Which the introduction of Lasky. Tom Lasky, character. yeah. Yes, yeah. who was uh, kind of pivotal in uh, Halo 4. Yeah. So and I, I have a feeling he's going to be more pivotal going forward, too. I hope yeah. so. I really liked yeah. his character. Uh, I mean, not that we could be talking about some stuff both in Halo 4 and Forward Unto Dawn here that could be spoiler-ish. Spoiler yeah, we'll try to stay away from anything big. So, but uh, so how many? So Forward Unto Dawn was five episodes. Yeah, and I think it totaled about 90 minutes. Yeah, which is it, is, was it that long? Yeah, it seemed, which is, it which is, seemed shorter. Yeah, but. which is crazy because when you watch stuff online, like I'm used to like conditioning myself to watch like two or three minute things at most, but I'd watch yeah. like an 18 minute episode, and be like, oh, that was awesome. I want to watch another one. It's especially good having them all out. Because you can watch one, it's like, ooh, and you go right into the next one. Yeah. Yeah, when they were still releasing them, I found myself like, I can't wait for Friday. Yeah. Yeah, God, yeah. I gotta wait another week. I, to I, watch I, I can't watch stuff week by week. I had to just wait for it all to be out and then I watched it. I was like that. That's what, I was like that with RVB. I watched. That's what Aaron's doing, yeah. I found RVB like while I was in the middle of season two. So I went back and I watched season one. I watched the entire thing in like one night. And then I watched all of, up to season two. And then I watched week to week as it came out. But it was pretty close to the end. So I'm like, oh, that's great. Season three came out. I watched like the first two weeks. I was like, fuck this. And I just completely stopped watching it. Yeah. I just bought the DVD. The moment, the as soon year. as you catch up to real time releases yeah. with everyone else. It was, it was too much. Mm -hmm. Some shows I'm like that, though. Some, some shows I'm not. Like, I watched Forward Unto Dawn. I watched the first two episodes. <laughs> when they were, I think, admittedly a little bit slower than the rest of it. The first, like, right as you get yeah, to the end well, of the second episode, 
stuff is finally starting to take off. Yeah, well, the first two, they spend a lot of time establishing character and right. building up relationships. And then the third is like the turning point where like it things really fan. take off. Yeah, and then it, four and five is just shit's gone wild. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, it goes nuts. Well, that's the thing. It's like if you look at the amount of time, it was about five episodes, about 15 minutes an episode. Yeah, more or less. Which puts it at about well, 95 minutes. The first one was 20. Eight, must have been yeah. about 18 minutes, actually, per episode. Oh, okay, so it's, like, like it's, it's a feature length is what yeah. it is. So it's Close probably to. written like a feature length. So you don't realize how much of the beginning of movies is set up, where mm -hmm. you're just like, first act gets a little slow. You know, there's some cool stuff at the beginning, like there was in Forward Unto Dawn. And then they start establishing characters and kind of building up the emotional weight, and then they pay it off, you yeah. know? Yeah, well, you have to be invested in the characters. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't care what the fuck's happening on screen. Right. I will agree with Gus. It seemed a little slow, because, like, I, I wasn't watching it week to week as it was coming out, but Jack was. So every time he watched it, like, inevitably, we ended up kind of all watching it in the office, because he was watching it in the office. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, this week was a little slow, and da da da, -da. But when I watched it last night, I watched everything. It doesn't seem slow at all when yeah. you watch the entire thing. Yeah, no, knowing you're going to get to the end yeah. before you start it, well, it seemed perfectly paced. It's because you're watching it at a time that's convenient to you. It's not, it didn't like just come out and then interrupt yeah, your true, day. True. It wasn't like, i got to watch this now. It's like, I'm yeah. going to go watch Forward Into Dawn tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think that's getting a DVD and Blu-ray release in the next couple of weeks. Wasn't that the limited edition? And, uh, uh, yeah. Of Halo? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, was the, it? Limited really? the limited edition came with a... Copy of Ford and Don. I think so. I yeah. want to say yeah. Oh, oh, Kyle, Kyle, so I'll that, yeah? Then it's going to come out. Kyle's right? giving me the green light. And if they already <laughs> made it. You get a token and you can watch it on Halo A token? Halo. So oh. you can watch on Halo So it's not a physical copy? It's, it's a digital copy? copy? Okay, so you get a That's, token. Yeah, but it's a special edition that has extra footage. Special edition oh, with extra footage. So it's like a special edition disc that you watch through the it's Xbox, like, a waypoint. Yeah, like That's cool. That's interesting. So you don't have to have the disc, which is like... My big gripe about shit. You'll make fun of me. Four Forward Unto Dawn releases, according to Amazon, releases December 4th. Oh, just the right middle of the holidays. I like having physical things. Yeah, well, everyone made fun you. of me for wanting like an Xbox with multiple disc changers, but. No, I think that's a good That idea. sounds really cool. Yeah. No, listen, dude, I would just, I, I don't even want the disc changer. I just want everything to be available day one, games on demand. And actually, the Wii Absolutely. U has a lot of that. Yeah, that's true. Yep, yeah, a, but a lot of their launch titles are available for digital download. Well, they did that, I think, with the 3DS as well, where you can get a lot of the stuff just through their uh, marketplace. I don't know what it's called. I, I, by the way, I think it's totally okay to talk about at this point that uh, we were able to, we went to the Forward Unto Dawn sets yeah. for a day, yeah. and we shot a live action. We talked about it. I we, think we, we talked about it, it the episode where ago. you weren't here. Oh, was that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. We shot a live action Red versus Blue on the sets of Forward Unto Dawn, and that's on our box set, right? Yeah, Brandon, Brandon, you can answer this question. Is that on the season 10 DVD, or is it on the box sets? I think It's in the box, box sets. That's right. Blue Only Ray, the Blu-ray Blu version. Okay. Yeah. It's on the mini adventure disc. I'm I have told. to say that Joel acting <laughs> as a live action caboose was absolutely awesome. hilarious to watch. <laughs> that might be <have> <laughs> that was fucking so, funny. So did, when y'all went and filmed this thing like on the Ford and the Don set, like did you have to did you use their crew? Was it like the Ford and the Don director or We showed up with crew, okay. but because of union rules we couldn't touch anything and so it ended up they ended up shooting and it wasn't their primary crew. Uh, like we couldn't use any of our equipment even. Um, so it was a camera we weren't used to using and you know a, crew we weren't used to, used to working with, but I thought everything worked out pretty well. Yeah. yeah. It was really cool getting to go there. Yeah. yeah. All the weapons were so, getting this like hold an assault rifle and a, a Halo 1 pistol was like the coolest thing. It totally and made. everyone had a picture in the cryo tubes, basically. Yeah. The time we were done. The so. cryo tubes were neat. It was cool. That set was pretty amazing. At the time they were showing us, what we do this? We did this in May, right? No, I think it was oh. later than that. No, I'm pretty sure it was er way early. It might it have been April no, or May. Really oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can look it up in email, but uh, yeah, the... Uh, the, they showed us the previous stuff they had of like the conceptual art, and um, the sets looked better than the concept art. That's like the awesome. actual sets at the end. It was the, really uh, cool. That, that three sided mirror bunker in the woods was like the coolest thing that we saw. Oh, that you saw really that cool. too? Yeah, they, well, see, here was the thing. It was originally, because um, if you see in Ford Under Dawn, it's two walls at a 90 degree angle, and then one that's kind of like at a 45 degree angle. Uh -huh. You can kind of see it's almost like a diamond shape or something like that. Originally, it was like three sides of a box, right? The reason that they tilted the, the ceiling of it was because it didn't show up on camera. Like, you couldn't see it. It was camouflaged so well. So they actually had to make uh, it worse so that it would pick up on camera, which I thought was a really cool little detail. <laughs> you making moves on me? What I'm are you just doing? listening. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. The last one of these. The last one? The one of beverage. Yep. It was really cool. Do you need a bev down. drop? Hang on. I have a bev? Hang on. Why don't you know guy? Uh, we're gonna need some more drinks out here soon. <laughs> if you guys want to run that out here, that'd be great. <laughs> Sorry, you're listening to stuff. Um, so that that's really cool. It was one of my favorite sets. Was that uh, like three mirrored thing? Yeah, it was a really neat idea. Yeah. I got, my we're going my email. We were there in June. 
Early Bye -bye. June. Yeah, Brand early Brandon June. says it was uh, May 30th, so end of May, early June. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who said that? Brandon. Oh, Brandon. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, that. I forget that not everyone can hear him. Good memory, <laughs> Good memory, Brandon. You guys are all hearing the voices too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that was a lot of fun. I mm -hmm. wonder, I wonder, you know, if we'll be able to, ever be able to show that off of the disc. But for now, it's on the the Blu-ray box set, and it's um, badass. And it's probably which is available now. You don't have to wait till December fourth to do it. You can just you buy can it. buy it now, yeah. right now. I've been I've been watching the Blu-rays. Oh yeah, yeah. They look excellent. I haven't started. Them they yet. look, they look really nice. Yeah, you know, it's first time. Well, it's not first time in high def. We've been in high def digital before. Distance. But now, I actually, <laughs> when I first came to to Rooster Teeth, like for the for an extended period, I came for three months in. 2007, I think. Yep. And my memory of that isn't that great, but as soon as I was watching season two of the remastered on Blu ray, I, I, I clicked that I reshot like four episodes of season two mm -hmm. on Halo PC. That was like, a long project. Yeah. But I just, I'd completely forgotten that I'd done that. And it was like, I remembered every shot. I was like, I remember setting this up. Mm -hmm. And I remember <laughs> trying to do head bobs with a mouse, and it'd be like, <laughs> it was different. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And also, like, when you'd go to turn with a mouse, you turn them, they would always end up like yeah. going up a little bit too. They're, they're there, are some, there are some turns like where you turn like this, but the head goes like. Yeah. <laughs> I just neck. heard your fucking neck. I heard, it over here. I heard your neck pop. It was, and it was very loud. Did this show up on mic? I really it hope so. Been, it was really loud. I was going to pretend like nothing happened, but I had a pain like go. Yeah, <laughs> it was like. Up. You had a stinger? You, you yeah. have 30 minutes to live now. Yeah, that was. We were uh, going to just drop dead. All right. That was something. People want to know are we ever going to do a Let's Play for the podcast? They yeah. Just keep asking That'd be about cool. It. Yeah, we're, uh, it's one of the things that we definitely want to do. We need. We've been working on getting this process down yeah. and making sure that all of this works, but we're getting ready to expand as part of, you know, we have this new area where people come and talk to us. We have some new stuff we're going to be setting up uh, in the control room as well, control. so you'll be able to like, also watch the control room. Uh, and then as part of that, we'll have more equipment that'll allow us to stream. Gus is not here next week, actually, so what are we going to do? Bum, 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 bum. So someone needs to sit in the Gus chair and Jeez, you know, wrangle people. i got to say, last time that you weren't here, we actually went out and hired an We were in L.A. and we hired an audio engineer to help us with that podcast. It's probably one of our worst podcasts ever, so <laughs> please don't go. Where we, are you uh, going? I, well, he's I, going? I actually intentionally did not help very much with the setup this week to make sure everything went okay and... And uh, not that I do a whole bunch, but I, I, I guess I'm very like nosy. I want to make sure things are moving along. So are you gonna sit in the gust chair? I'm gonna sit here. Chair. Do you usually here. just come in and like pee on everything? Yeah, and just I knock sure turkeys right? out of the way. Yeah, you knock turkeys and just pee on the on like the chair, and you're like, my so, chair is good, and you walk out. Yeah, so don't fuck it up. I'll be I'll be watching. You won't. You, you're not gonna be here either, right? When? When do you leave? You're gonna be here next Tuesday. Yeah, I'll be here on Tuesday. Why wouldn't he be here? Oh right. I'm sorry. I keep thinking. I keep I keep forgetting this week is Thanksgiving. I just keep yeah. forgetting that. Yeah. Yeah. Where you have any plans for Thanksgiving? Doing anything cool? Going home. We're going to have a... Crying alone. What, what if, <laughs> we're going to have a, uh, a new limited time product in the Rishi store what? for Thanksgiving. Uh, and so can we talk about that? We can talk about it in very vague, vague terms. Manner. We're oh, going to have a thing in the store that's never been a thing in the store. And we're going to have it for a very limited, limited time. time. I don't even know, about so don't even know what have, this thing is. We have a, a newsletter blast coming out soon. If you're not subscribed to it, you should subscribe to it. Because it will let you know when that stuff It's a is thing that people that have asked about. if we're ever going to put in the store. Because they've seen it places and want to know if they can get one. Oh, okay. And maybe for point. this weekend only. Did they put it there? We might see it. That's the, uh, it's a holiday shipping schedule we got up there right now. Oh, okay. So... Huh. Uh, so check out the newsletter, which will be coming out in the next couple days for your chance to buy something that we can't tell you what it is. What and then uh, I'm going to do... See, strands of Michael Sands. Michael, I always associate you as starting with us at Thanksgiving, even though you started way earlier. Yes. So when, what was your first day in Austin in the office? August 15th. August 15th. Man, it's weird. I associate, like... Thanksgiving, because I remember you didn't go home for Thanksgiving. Right. And I brought you, I tried to get you to come over to my house. You wouldn't do that. And hell no. So I brought you up a big plate of turkey. And well, yeah, you go to his house. Because it's like, you know. You, you're you're, you're a, a red versus blue fan, right? Yeah. For the whole way. Yeah. 
the, the guy. I'm not gonna. I'm house. not gonna be a fan at Bernie's house for Thanksgiving. Well, you're a pasta fan at that point, surely. Michael, oh, maybe not then. Now, I, Michael, yeah. I thought all worked out. He's a I piece of shit, and he's like, whatever. This <laughs> is like, oh, Bernie Burns, whatever. That motherfucker signs a paycheck. But that's then, it. yeah, no. Last year was great uh, as Lindsay invited me to Thanksgiving with her family while she still had a boyfriend. Oh, I remember that. Oh, so, I do remember so that. It was like, a boyfriend who like, wasn't you. <laughs> yeah, who wasn't me. So it was just like, yeah, you can come, you know, just hang out, whatever, with my family. And I was like... Yeah, but wasn't that weird with all the family? Did you do that? No, I didn't, didn't go. Know. Okay. No, are you kidding me? I didn't even care about the family. I was just like, uh, that's weird. It was actually funny because I remember telling Bernie about it over AIM. I was like, he aimed me one day about something or whatever, and I happened to be at home, and... Uh, I'm like, I'm like typing to him, and he's like, oh, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? And I'm like, well, Lindsay invited me to our families, but like, I don't know, it's kind of weird, blah, 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 blah. Probably not going to go, this and that. And then like two, three days later, she brings it up again. She's like, so I know you don't want to go to my family's for Thanksgiving. I'm like, no, what are you talking about? I didn't say that. She's like, yeah, I was, I was sitting right next to you while you were having your conversation with Bernie on your computer. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's going to be saying, a little oh, weird. No. What you're saying yeah. is that uh, Lindsay reads your uh, aims while you're typing them. That's what I That's said. That's the lesson to and take And like, she's like, I didn't, I just glanced and I saw my name, so then I had to read. Would All you right. break up with someone if they looked through your here's stuff? A, here, but here's the thing. It wasn't look through. To be fair, she was sitting right next to me while I was typing. I try to be very conscious about that. Like, I try not to look I was at drunk people's too, screens so. when yeah. I'm sitting next to them. Like, I do the same I don't want to see email. I don't want to see IM. I don't want to know. I put on a really good show of acting like that. But I don't want to know. No, because like I know oh, what I'm I'll do with all it. My shit yeah. I'm just like it's, it. it's bad for me. Don't tell me. But, like, listen, I don't keep anything. I delete stuff. Say, say you left. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you I delete do. like all your time. Say you left I your Facebook inbox open, and then the person you were with discussed something in there with you. Yeah, that's grounds for bye bye ness. Yeah. On so. on their part for doing it, or what? What do you mean? Well, like, yeah. what if you were being a bit cheeky? Ooh, what? cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what if I had an inbox message to somebody that was inappropriate? So what I'm saying is, if you were doing something that's like, yeah, I don't know, kind of wrong, I would still be mad at them for like looking through my stuff, even if I was in the wrong. They're in the wrong now. But no, I don't know. We're both know. in the wrong. It, really? I think they're in the wrong. Terrible. I think it's you got it backwards. I think they're in the wrong for starting. But then when they discovered you were doing something, that then justifies them looking. Yeah. So, to of. me, it'd be like this. They would come at me and say you've done this. And I'd be like, how do you know that? And they'd be like, I'd look through your phone. I'd be like, bye. Bye now. I think they Because you already know it's over. <laughs> I think yeah, they might I, already be, I think they might I, be starting the bye conversation. I kind of <laughs> agree with Bernie. <laughs> if you're boned, that's just kind of like irrelevant because I was suspected and I was right. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's I, yeah, yeah, but if I was caught genuinely, I'd probably be sorry and be like, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a fool. Right. I, I made a mistake. If they look through my stuff and found it, I'll be like, yeah, but what if wh the difference is like you're saying I'm sorry or whatever because they're confronting you, but if they didn't, you'd still continue yeah. doing it. Michael, and we know Gavin, what are the set of circumstances that would have to come up where Gavin would say, I was a fool. I made a uh, mistake. Yeah. <laughs> never, never, never all on me. Ever. Oops. Yeah, I, 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 I really Maybe you could write up. that in the season 11. That'd be about the only time you'll ever say it. <laughs> I think if you confronted happen. Gavin on something That's like that, happen. if he was in the wrong, Gavin would look at you and not say a word until you left. No, what he'll do is, or he'll just have an earlier podcast, or, or, just, so let's go. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, I just, yeah. or I just do a lap and come back. <laughs> I was being cheeky, Michael. Cheeky. Michael. You do a lap, pretend like you break up with him, and then yeah. come back, and then like, <laughs> put, put them back together. <laughs> put them back in like, place. I saw yeah. what you did. <laughs> <laughs> just do a lap and come back, like, oh, a horrible dream. <laughs> I will say I don't know if I don't know if Lindsay told this story, but part of like inviting me to Thanksgiving while she had a boyfriend is because she's like too nice for her own goddamn good. She, when she invited, she asked someone to prom. It was like a guy she kind of knew, whatever, and she just wanted to date. And she went up to him to say like, "Hey, do you want to go to prom?" And it was she knew the guy and his friend. She knew both of them, but they were at school or whatever. She went up to him, the guy A, and was like, "Hey." Um, you know, I was wondering if you want to go to prom, blah, 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 blah. And guy A and B was like, you mean both of us? And she, because she's like nice and <laughs> retarded, was like, uh, yes. 
and took two guys to prom. <laughs> Fuck, that works? Yep. I would have tried that. Yeah. Something similar what? actually happened yeah. to me, believe it or She's not. like, yeah, it was really awkward. I'm like, you're an idiot. It's like they both showed up. They both went with her, and she was just like two friends. And she's like, well, I didn't want to tell the other one. Like, no, I, di- I didn't invite you. I just invited A. I'll punch you in the fucking face. <laughs> you will be careful. I'll punch you, you in the you're mouth. You're calling her an idiot, though. She's got two dates to prom. She's, I mean, she's the. She's but she didn't want. But she didn't want them. Yeah, nobody wants two dates to prom. She did it. She did it out of like be. being back in. Well, no, that's like saying that's like saying if you went to an attractive girl and was like, hey, you want to go uh, go listening. with me? And then the attractive girl was like, can Stacy come? And then like this horrible. Oh girl yeah. Like, I'll Am come. I invited to you? I'll, I'll <laughs> come. And then you're like. Yeah, of course. Apparently, I'm going to prom with a Teen Girl Squad. Yeah, yeah. I'm strong, but bad. Teen oh my god! Squad. Oh my god! MSG. So cool. So cool. Jesus. <laughs> Man, it's like a fucking time machine. I, I can't. I can't think of the last time I saw. Strong it. Uh, now you've taken it too far. Homestar Runner. I don't Not think far. it's updated in over a year. At this point. I think it's been longer than that, hasn't it? Has it been longer? Yeah. Yeah. Let's I look just it up. remember the the. I mean, home screen. Yeah, let's look it up. Fucking IMDb at Bernie. Emails. Go. When that, was the last time? That was a Jacks. an <laughs> early inspiration for us as far as like how to get things going with Rooster Teeth. Was watching. Or something, right? I Let me tell a story. I spilled beer. Was telling. Uh, you missed it, camera. Was seeing how Homestar Runner updated on a weekly basis, and they figured out that since we wanted to go back and we knew when things came out, that people might be into that. So it seemed like it makes sense to release things on a weekly basis when people would know to come and look for content. Have you seen? Have you figured out? I'm trying to figure it out. Did yeah. you ever look up like porn sites and figure people might be into that? Or yeah, like, but to incorporate the, that. <laughs> we're uh, we're unattractive like, dudes, which I guess like, is pretty prevalent. Man, people are into naughty cam girls. How can we incorporate that? <laughs> naughty guys. The, the scary yeah. thing. The scary thing to me about Homestar Runner is <clears throat> it often illustrates how short the memory of the internet is. Mm-hmm. Because Homestar Runner was like that was all anybody watched in like mm-hmm. 2005, 2006, right before YouTube. Like that was that was the thing, and then now a lot of people don't even know what it is. There you know? really aren't any more like flash animation sites, either, are there? Like nope. there's no like flash animation thing on the internet that I can think of. Well, there's a lot of flash animated stuff on YouTube, but you never watch it in, you know, flash. In flash, format, yeah, like, like on NS, the website, WF or whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, it. they have a Christmas tune out right now. Like, like a, dude, a new what? one. I love that. Christmas tune. Mm-hmm. I started. They don't put dates on their site, so Does I don't know. Teen Girl Squad. No. Damn it. Shut Last house. update is 12-22-2010. Oh. oh. That's so old. Two, that's almost, almost two years. years. Yeah. Almost two years. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy to think it hasn't been updated in that long. But why, why just leave it? Why not say, all right, this is it? Why not do a last big one, right? Oh, just the last one. And, and Maybe they don't, want to, they don't want to end it. Like, they don't want Yeah, but you look at something that's two years old, and you can see that it's ended. Dude, they're making a comeback. They're, uh, I think they're the guys, uh, they're writing and directing uh, Yo Gabba Gabba now. Oh really? oh, really? That's one of the things they work oh, on. My nephew's watching shit well, out of that show. Well, if you end show? it, like, you can't ever make another one. Like, w- if it's if it's left <laughs> in limbo, you'd be <laughs> like, I, I, will, I will say. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I, disagree. <laughs> true. I disagree. But I will say. It's like killing um, a character and then bringing them back. <laughs> it, ha- yeah. it hasn't been two years, but honestly, best example is, like, my YouTube channel, which is how Rooster Teeth found me, just making dumb videos on my YouTube channel. Yo, when Gamma, I Gamma. When I moved here, I didn't make a fucking video maybe one in six months on my channel. Like, it was pretty much dead. And then, like, I finally got all my shit together, and now I have, like, two videos every single week. But Matt Chapman people, currently actually, works for Nickelodeon for Yo Gabba Gabba. Yeah. That's what he does. I actually That's didn't awesome. lose subscribers or, like, I actually gained a few thousand yeah, well, in six months follow. doing yeah. nothing. No, but my point is, I wasn't like, That's it, guys. I'm done. I'm not making any yeah. more videos. Peace. So it's like two years is kind of a big difference, but mm-hmm. to, to just say it's over forever. It. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, yeah, I get that. Okay. Uh, so, a couple more questions. I'm going to do a round, round table here on Twitter real quick. So, people have asked, uh, what are our plans for Day 5 and for Immersion 2? So, actually, uh, we just... Well, some of us have rolled off of the, our current show, The Gauntlet. Uh, that's heavy into post-production. That show has so much footage associated with it. It's basically like uh, for... When, when there's one match of eight players playing against each other, that's eight separate feeds they record for 20 minutes mm-hmm. t- across three matches. Mm-hmm. So, it's like... It's a ridiculous amount well, of footage. Plus every all let's the play cameras. Do. Yeah, but imagine doing like double the amount of people in Let's Play times three, and that's one episode. Yeah. And that's just that's it's just true. that's true. just the gameplay footage. Dealing right? yeah, with that's, footage, that's not including dealing with footage is by far the worst part of anything. Yeah, yeah you like guys a, can totally relate. Like we're we, up to we like do six it's cameras scary, now. Yeah. Yeah. Just if we do play. if we do a Let's Play that's like a one of those challenge ones, we usually have six people and we'll go for like two hours. 
I can't edit that until at least a day later because we all have to convert Sync. them into, yeah. a, yeah. into yeah. a format that Transcode I can edit yeah. with our names on and everything. Yep. It just takes forever. The beginning of we're, every we're, Gauntlet episode editorial is just the most horrifying. Like, you just look at all the layers in your Final Cut yeah. project. When, we, when I showed up you know, for on set to the Gauntlet for the first day, I was shocked at how many cameras were there. Like, first of all, like all the live action stuff. And then to think about all the, the gameplay on top of that is just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. It's just so much stuff to do. That Team Fortress episode was scary. Yeah, God, that was I mean, horrifying to work on. It was. Then, like from from my personal perspective, you know, my team lost uh, a Team Fortress Two match that right. was shown in that episode. Right. And um, like it was really frustrating because I felt like we were doing so well, and then like a lot of my team got hit by that train. That was <laughs> awesome to edit because like I was gone when you guys were shooting the gauntlet, so I didn't know. I don't know the I, like I, at the time. I didn't know the outcome or anything like that. I didn't know how each episode was going to play out. So I, w I had the job of going through and finding all that footage, and I remember it was super early in the morning, and Brandon was just really tired, and I busted into the office he was wearing. I go, Brandon, you got to come see these idiots get demolished by a train. Yeah. That, I don't know. That was, that was very unfortunate for your team. Yeah, well, one, of my, one of my favorite things about, because I edit the Minecraft one every week, and one of my favorite things is when I notice stuff that I didn't notice at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, Ray always has these amazing moments oh. where... <laughs> there, there was a time we were doing Capture the Tower, and it was between rounds, and I think Michael had died, and he spawned somewhere else. So we're all like frantically trying to give Michael directions back to the course before it turns to night. We're like, no, go that way, and we've got a map, and his world hasn't loaded and stuff. And Ray just walks up to a wall, flicks the camera into third person, so it's pressed up against his face. He's like, hey, <laughs> hey, internet, it's Ray. And then he starts like switching quickly between, between yeah. an empty hand and a sword, so he's like, oh. I love oh. it whenever he does that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, oh. <laughs> oh. Miles, that's going to be a gift video. for the end of oh. time now. Oh, you no. idiots. idiots. Congratulations. Oh. Welcome to the internet. Yep. There's Fuck that you, one, Reddit. Oh. There's that one screenshot people have posted me from one podcast where I'm like this or something. I don't even remember <laughs> doing you, that. You pull, this podcast is going to be fabulous. <laughs> There's one of you just like... <laughs> like, like really they, miffed about they took the uh, They took uh, Ray's photo for the Achievement Hunter shirt and they've turned that into Good Guy Ray. Oh, Good yeah. guy Ray knows he's going to win, still offers to split the tower things. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to finish up the discussion though, Gauntlet, some of us have rolled off. The editors are still editing like mad on that mm -hmm. and all the post-production people. But uh, uh, some of us are working on day five right now. Um, some of us are working on Ruby. Miles, you're working on Ruby as well as the Gauntlet. Um, and so, next up is production is day five. Uh, then Immersion 2, Immersion Season 2, uh, which we already have all the ideas outlined for. And that'll probably be coming out... Um, day five, probably the end of December, but probably mid early January, depending on uh, how production goes. And then immersion two will be after that. We'll start to air right after that. And then Ruby, we have some things planned, but it'll probably be a while before you see uh, any of the long episodes from yeah. Ruby, like we, we many many months away. I a love a few, few trailers. That was suave. They switched <laughs> this, the other that camera was, angle. Sam really Fisher. They can't Sam hear Fisher you. returning to the podcast. You were like Solid Snake, man. I didn't even see you. Switch. Right when I was going Nobody under the Nobody else goes to the bathroom during the podcast except for you. Damn. No, I Whatever. think he's starting a movement. Should we get a box it. with eye holes? It's too just, structured. Dude, there's five people here. Sometimes. You guys can't float it for 30 seconds without me. <laughs> we got a problem. Talking about floating it. Yeah. Can't you float it for yeah, an hour? When there. you piss, do you force piss or do you just let it out? No, hold, hold, just let hold, it out. What, the f what is what? force pissing? Like when you squeeze it out. Like I also heard there was beer in the Someone told me there's beer near you. No, there's not. Well, they lied. Oh, no, there's beer. Okay, here. well, there was second? another question yeah. I had to, like, the round table thing that people want to know about. half the reason I got up. Uh, hey, somebody wants to, uh, they keep asking about Nuketown. What do we think about Nuketown? Oh. I don't know why people are so fucking upset Have about you heard about what happened? Yeah, what that's, that's kind of shitty. Okay, it's a Call so, of Duty thing? So, yeah, no, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, the pre-order bonus for pre-ordering from, I think it was GameStop, right? Was uh, I did not get it from GameStop, and I still had them. Out, okay, so. well, then maybe it was just a general pre-order bonus. If you pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 2, you got a remake of a map called Nuketown from Black Ops 1 called Nuketown 2025. Yes. And everybody's really excited. Everybody really liked that map. Okay. I think it was not even... So, you, yeah. you, if you pre-ordered, you got the map, and you got ac as a result, you got access to a special playlist called Nuketown. And the description on Nuketown was, all <laughs> Nuketown, all the time, we're open 24-7, we never close. They had that playlist up, for six days, and then they took the playlist away. You could not play the Nuketown map anymore. Yeah. 
You can right. still play Nuketown for a local private match with your friends if you're doing a system link or if you're just doing a split screen thing. You're not but you, there's no, there, you can't play it online? Does it not have a come so up? I, people, you can play it online if it's a custom game, I think. People got so mad and the uproar was so loud that they introduced it in a hopper with some other types of games. So now you can get in this one type of playlist and you might get the Nuketown map, but the Nuketown map so it's at least back, but the new right. count playlist itself is gone. So there was a playlist for just one map. Yes. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Are so people like, that mad about? Well, you could, play because one they map took it away. You couldn't play that map. But why are people whining about that? Did because they, that's the because that's the reason a lot of them pre-ordered the game. Yeah, but they didn't spend any more on it, did they? That's that's a that's eh. a good point. Yeah, oh, but, you're, you're, there's no, no but if, you're, if you promise something that you're gonna get to take it away in six days is stupid. I think everyone should just shut up. I'd be fine. Just I'd forever. No, I mean you're a piece of shit. Don't about don't that. promise someone something. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck them over. I guess it didn't work out. So they took it off when for I a bought reason. Black Ops Two, I didn't pre-order it. I went. I just went down to the uh, Best Buy down here and I bought it. And uh, so I, I bought it. I took it to the register, and the guy was like, "This is the first time it's ever happened to me." He was like, I bought the Xbox version. He said, so uh, do you need to renew your Xbox Live Gold? I was like, what? No, he said, do you need to renew your Gold? I was like, what? He's like, your Xbox Live, is it up to date? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, because we're having a special. You can renew it right now and you get you know, 15% off or whatever. I was like, no, 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 my Xbox Live is fine. He's like, okay, do you want to buy the Black Ops Season Pass? I was like, what? He's like, you can get access to all the DLC and the zombies. You can buy it right now. I was like, no, no, I'm fine. Like I've never had someone try to sell me DLC at a physical brick and mortar yeah. store. Yeah, like season passes are big now. I'm yeah. not. I gotta say I'm not a fan of the season pass thing. I, yeah. I'm not particularly either. But why are they selling it at the store? Like you can just buy it through the because dashboard, get, through the marketplace. You get, you get mm -hmm. a, you get like you have a certain quota that you have to meet. I worked at GameStop yeah. for a while. And but I don't understand why GameStop is even selling it to begin Dude, with. Dude, I don't or, understand either. I hated that. What? <laughs> not GameStop. In this case, Best Buy. Yeah. What's your issue with the season pass? I, you know, I don't, you know, I just, I'm like you guys where he said he didn't want people asking him how he's doing in a store because he knows it's phony. I, I had to work retail and constantly the upselling thing, so I'm very tolerant of it. And I really don't so much mind this he's passing, it's just the latest thing they're trying to sell to us. Yeah. I constantly can't stand though, I don't want to join your club. Yeah, I like never do. Program. What? Like any reward, reward program. Reward program, thing. I don't want the Target card, I just don't want any of that stuff. I don't you want to do CBS American cards. Why would you want yeah. somewhere you use frequently? What's that? Like if you go there frequently. Well, the thing is, like, why wouldn't I want it? Yeah. I, here's one reason why. I, I I don't like first of all carrying around something in my wallet. I like to minimize my wallet as far as I can. Okay. I can't stand that. And also, I heard this really crazy thing one time about a guy who had a grocery uh, store card, uh -huh. and he is old dude, and he slipped and fell in the store. And I I don't know, it's probably an urban legend or something. But then he goes to court over the slip and fall accident that he had, and they pulled his shopping history up. And they said, well, three days before this, you bought a lot of alcohol. Is it possible that you were drunk when you were in the store, sir? And it's like, I don't want them tracking that. There's a reason why that they, they do that, and it's usually to track your spending habits, and I don't want people gathering data on me at my, at my privilege, why? you know? Yeah, I agree with, I, well, not I agree. I understand what you're saying, but I look at that the same way as food. I just don't give a shit. I'm just I like, know. here's my data, here's my fucking DNA, I'll fucking fucking jerk it I just don't like getting emails. You can have it, That's I just don't thing. give a well, shit. Like emails, emails. And don't fucking also, call me. You'll I don't also give a fuck. get like, spam, like old spam, like you'll get yeah. like a lot of junk mail yep. as like, well on top a, of that. There's, yep. a, there's a place at the Austin airport, I can't remember the name of it, but you order food on the screens and then it just comes out. Oh. And I, well, do you know what it is? Yeah, it's all of them. Everything in Austin okay. airports like that. So I, I look at this thing, I'm like, I don't have to interact with anyone here. This is brilliant. That is. If I order something, I any question that comes back, I like it less and less yeah. and less. Like some some things you order here, and it's like three steps to actually them being done. So I was like, I don't have to interact with anyone. So I, I swiped the thing and I did all the thing I wanted, and then and I think like a month later I came back and it says, touch the screen or swipe your card to start. I was like, why swipe your card now? I just I was like, okay, and it said, hey Gavin, welcome back. Last time you had this. Do you want it again? And I was like, yes. And I'm, I'm with you. That I'm with is you. awesome. I like, like. I love that. Like, I'm with you. The, the I, okay. there's, I get it. There's certain care. places where I like interacting with people, though. Like Brandon loves. He has a Chipotle app on his iPhone, so that he can order Chipotle before he leaves the office. Office. He goes down to Chipotle. He gets himself a big like burrito. Yeah, he's baby happy. likes a big burrito. <laughs> that was the creepiest thing. I bet he all likes day. it stuffed in his mouth. But here's what I see. If you here's the thing. And this goes with all burrito places that I've ever had. Dang. Experience with if you go and you talk up the person that's making your burrito and you're really friendly to them and You ask how their day is going. They will hook you up with an, a, a, a right. insane I, amount. I will say that yeah, to be that's friendly. fucking jack logic I, If you want to <laughs> if, if you happen to go 
and someone happens to talk to you. People are laughing and in well, the it's studio. Like, like if you happen to go and someone's like, oh, that's awesome, blah, 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 I'll hook you up. But to go in with the mindset of like, okay, here's what you do. <laughs> well, no. The, no, no. And that's the first fucking thing that happened when we went to Freebirds with Jack. The first time I ever went to Freebirds, I was there with Jack. And Jack was like, he literally telling me, he goes, hope you get like the big fat guy as the guy that gives you your food because it'll hook you up with like double meats. Well, sometimes, you know, it's like, like here's the thing. Shit. It's, it's like, like if, a I want, taco. if I want double meats, I'll just ask for double meats. I don't need to hope a fat guy <laughs> gives me double <laughs> meats so I can get a 50 cent fucking discount. It's like, no, I don't, man. I don't give a shit. I, about I love that. I don't stuff, care. Man. It's like, I will not make an effort to try for that shit. If but I go up there, logic, it's, it's so logic easy though just to have a pleasant conversation with someone and get so no, much. No, it's not. No. The logic, yes, no, the Maybe logic, the logic. What you're saying is you want to get free shit. Yeah, so, so you have a pleasant conversation. Right, it's but really it's easy forced. to get. I don't yeah. care. I don't want to talk to anybody. But it's so easy I'm to get, get stuff. stuff. Why, why, uh, like then it. you're having a pleasant conversation under false pretenses. Yeah, you're having true. a pleasant conversation hoping for like something yes, else in return. Absolutely. If you're gonna have a pleasant conversation, just have a pleasant conversation. Don't go in with an ulterior motive. Here's, here's my yeah. issue. And, but you know what? The fuck are you talking about? When have you ever had a pleasant conversation with anybody ever? I'm not even gonna do that. Like the people at Freebird. They try to engage you. Oh, how's your day going? Fine. Yeah. What did you do this weekend? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Like I'm like yeah. I'm like. <laughs> I guess, like we walk into Jersey Mike's. We walk into Jersey Mike's and like we're walking through the door. The counter's like way over there, and the guy's like. Hey guys, what are you up to? It's like, get lunch, you it's idiot. Yeah, yeah, especially, lunch. especially when it's like, it's like me, Gavin, Lindsay, and Ray. I, we'll walk in, the guy be like, hey guys, how you doing? He gets four like, mm. yeah. Like, why, from why all does he of keep us. That and, and, like, and then Lindsay's super nice too. For, for me especially, you know, I'm used to, and honestly, it's not like a stereotype. Like people in Texas are fucking nice. And even more like genuine nice, but I'm just not used to it. I'm like, why are you so fucking nice to me? Yeah, it's, like, it's suspicious. You, you want my blood? You're gonna harvest my you know, organs? Suspicious. New Jersey, New Jersey, it's like, what do you want? Here's what I want. All right, here's your change. Get out. All right, yeah. fuck you. And then you walk out. Well, I can like, tell you a place that. where that you probably hate worse than any place that we ever go to. And it's where I have that reaction because I, I like don't realize I'm falling into a fake conversation and then they let me know during the conversation that it's fake. And it's when they go, ask you something and when they go to, care When I go to Mighty Fine Hamburgers, and they go, hey, sir, how's your day? I go, good, how's yours? And they go, mighty fine. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I'm yep. throwing your goddamn yep. branding out. Hey, like, hey. At least then they, they just trap you and they fucking hammer you for taking part I in I have heard that before. Mighty fine. Like, have you had a mighty fine day? It's like, well, have you fucked yourself today? Because you can shove this hamburger up your fucking ass. I don't like it. I don't like it when, when places make their employees say certain things. Yeah. I want to like, I want to now get a job somewhere where that's completely irrelevant, like Jersey Mike's, and someone will be like, I'll be like, how's your day? And they'll be like, good, how's yours? And I'll be like, Jersey Mike's. <laughs> just won't make any sense. All right. Well, we got to start wrapping up here. We're, uh, but no, we're this is long. this is my issue with stuff with options. Okay. Do it. Is that if you stuff want options? If you want an option. Like say I order a turkey wrap and I don't want mayo. That's not true by the way, I love mayo. <laughs> I would say I'll have the turkey wrap without mayo. But I, I want it with everything that it comes with. So when I say I'll have the turkey wrap, they'll be like, do you want that as it comes? Yep. Yeah, that's what I just said. I just ordered a turkey wrap and I had no modifications yeah. with yeah. it. I mean, I will say I love Jersey Mike's, but every time you go there, they ask you, do you want that Mike's way? Which is like everything yeah. they have and all that shit. And it's like, I get almost Mike's way, but I don't get like three things. So they're like, do you want it Mike's way? I'm like, no, fuck you. Here's what I want. I want this, 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 this. And it's like eight out of the 10 things of Mike's way. I would so much rather walk up to a c computer screen and be like, Just like, there's what I want, enter. Yeah. No, I agree. I love Dawson Airport for the, the touchscreen screen so good. ordering. I just hate, in <laughs> no, I, just hate I, I will say that really? web interfaces have revolutionize ordering pizzas. Yeah, they That's have. like the best thing ever. Yeah. Domino's I, has the best interface. Yeah, I so like I, I had a really, I had another really frustrating experience today, actually. So I went to the Whataburger down here by our office, mm -hmm. and I was in line in the drive-through, and the line's going pretty fast. And the car in front of me gets up to the, the speaker. I think, okay, well, I'm up next, so let me roll my window down so I can be ready. I roll my window down, woman pulls up in front of me to the speaker, like, welcome to Whataburger, when I get you? Woman in the car's like, uh, I need a minute. I'm like, what the fuck, woman? There's hamburgers here. <laughs> so she stares and at, chicken. She stares at the menu forever. Then she's like, okay, I'm ready to order. Okay. You know, <laughs> then, then, and then she sits there and she's like, what kind of chicken sandwiches do you have? I was like, are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> so then the person on the other side has to explain like the three or four different chicken sandwiches they have. She's like, okay, I'll take a double cheeseburger. I was like, 
Why are you fucking asking? <laughs> like she, she must be, she must have been trolling. To be fair, like, the entire line was gone at that point. And then, so then finally she placed her order. And then, like, it's like a two-lane Whataburger. Like, you place yeah. your order, and if it's busy, they make you go to side B. Line B, yeah. There's no one in front of her. She, she starts to go. She pulls into line B. Then she realizes that she's fucked up. So she puts her car in reverse, comes back to the speaker, and then goes <laughs> forward in line A. I'm like, what is she doing? Did the guy tell her to go to line B, no. or she just decided to? No, she just decided I to go I will say, in New Jersey, I've, in McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, everything, I've never seen that line B technology. <laughs> Never. And like coming here, I'm like, wow, <laughs> two lanes? That's It's so much faster. Mm-hmm. It's just, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, the weirdest thing is when you go to uh, In-N-Out Burger for the first time in LA, and it's like, the drive through they just give up on using it immediately, and it's just a line around the building, and there's a dude out there yeah. taking orders yeah. in the parking lot. <laughs> I'm, just, like, I'm just so terrified of keeping anyone waiting that whenever I'm eating at a restaurant, I've already decided my backup, or like, if someone, if a waiter, waiter comes up to me and says, wow. do you need a minute? I'm, I'm ne- I never need a minute. Yeah. So basically, oh, wow. before I, basically, before I've sat down, I've glanced the menu. I'm like, in an emergency, I'm going to order that. <laughs> that's, that's, I don't want yeah. that necessarily, but I can say that if someone comes yeah. by and that's, asks order. That's and then I decide what I actually want if I have time. Wow. But I always have like a backup order. So it's like, do you need a minute? It's like, no, no, I have, I have the, the burger, the big ass burger. That's funny, a bit extreme, but I don't know if we told the story or not. Happened that exact same scenario in New York Comic Con last year. Going to a fucking diner. It was like me, Barbara, and Chris. And it's like, I ordered. The guy's like, hey, what do you want? I was like, I ordered. And then Barbara ordered. And then Chris ordered. Yep. And they were like, oh, yeah, we're going to have that today. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> Did you just turn around and walk out? Uh, uh, the worst uh, is when just. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, um, uh, like he freaked the fuck out. Like he had no it's, idea. It's it was like, like some. It was like also your family's dead. <laughs> like he, had, he had no idea what. To it do. was like that animated well, adventure yeah. where he orders a drink and he yeah, pissed forever. Yeah, it was like while Gavin's is a bit extreme, I can actually respect that because he was like his world crumbled in front of him because it was like yeah we don't have that sandwich and he was like oh yeah. so he, was, he just cracked Chris, the cyanide Chris, pill and he was dead. Chris is one of my favorite people in the whole world because he just says and does things that no one else would ever do. Me, Carrie, and Chris went to uh, uh, Torchy's Tacos a few weeks back, and we parked the car, we're walking through the parking lot, and this very pregnant woman and her husband are walking out of Torchy's Tacos, and I notice that Chris looks at her, and then afterwards he looks back forward, continues to walk, and it's not like in slow motion, he gets this look on his face, he's thinking of something. It's almost like he almost smelled something bad, and he's trying to figure out where it came from. He just has this like really puzzled look on his face, and he starts doing these weird hand motions where he's like putting his hands out in front of him. And I, I asked, dude, what are, you, what are you doing? And he goes, what would you do? Like, what do you think would happen if I ran up to that like husband and wife? And I went up to her and I said, I curse your baby. And then I ran away. Like, do you think he'd be mad? <laughs> and we honestly didn't know the answer because logically, no, there's no reason to be mad for someone going, I curse your baby. Because there's no, no such thing there's curses. Plenty but at the same time, you're like, like, fuck you, man, the, that's going to be my future kid. What, the fuck what do you mean there's no reason, reason to be mad? Because there's there's reason. curses I, don't exist. It, <laughs> curses don't exist. Should one day. Welcome to is, the Receipt Podcast. Yeah, if she is not. <laughs> I want to stamp all rumors now. I curse your baby. I want to stamp all rumors now. She is not. But should one day Lindsay be pregnant? And someone run up to her and say, "I curse your baby." I'm gonna punch him in and the face. And here's yeah, the thing, too. Like, are the you thing? insane? If that kid turns out to kind of be a dickhead. You know they're gonna be like, "It was that fucking curse." No, I wouldn't. Well, but I'd be like, "That guy's fucking retarded." <laughs> this is more of like a fucking retarded human. Let me ask you this: though. When you're, you, since you think about this stuff all the time, when you're in a grocery store, <laughs> you and you, Gavin, when you're in a grocery store and you have, say, two items, or say, excuse me, you have like 20 items. Yeah. Not that you ever spend that much money, but if you had 20 items and the person behind you has two. Do you let them go in front of you? No. You never think about that. Just go, I would, go, I would. just go, do it. But you have 20 and the person behind you yeah, has two. Yeah, I've got that first. Okay. Put it through. Do you ever do that? Do you ever let the person behind you go in front of you? It looks like the rare. person's gonna have a hard time making it through it, that line. He's sure. asking me, shut up, both of you. <laughs> Hey. It's rare, but sometimes, yes. I'll I do, do it all the time. Yeah. I do it all the time. And the thing that bugs me when I go out to eat with people, when you go out with people, and like say six people in a decent sized group, and you order food together, first of all, people can never fucking order. They can never get yeah. anything figured yeah. out. And the fucking thing I hate more than anything else is when the waiter brings the food, and they said, they're standing with hot plates serving you your food. They go, who had the enchiladas? And everybody's like, <laughs> and I'm like, he did. He had the fucking enchiladas. Yeah. You had enchiladas. He goes, so, oh, what me? Yeah, I had enchiladas. I, 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 no I, one seems to understand what that process is. I have is. the same problem. I feel like I have to play air traffic control. Right. Yeah. Like, and then the waiter comes like, is everything okay? <laughs> yeah, everything's... 
You're drawing yeah, lines yeah, above yeah, it. Yeah, like, 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 does anybody need anything? <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess not. Yeah, right. Monty, it's all, it's awful going out to eat with Monty because Monty, he's just super efficient. Yeah. He just completely draws like, I'll have water, more water, not that much water. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, and I'm just like, thank you, we're fine. Thank, don't talk to that one. Just don't, just don't. You should make them pay us. If, if nobody owns up to it, you should just say to the waiter, nobody here ordered that. <laughs> Take it back to the kitchen, throw it away. Yeah, That's it's the mistake. most frustrating thing in the world. It's like, I know one of you assholes ordered the enchilada. It's like, I you have... know you did it. <laughs> yeah. Why do I have to interject myself in this and process? This is someone else's transaction. And what are people doing that they don't know the waiter is there to give you your food? They just like, they're all they staring at like, I'm, I'm a fat ass. I'm always like, where's the waiter? Where's the waiter? Yes, food, food, food. Sure. <laughs> all right, we got to wrap. We're going real long. It is a big deal when the Guys, waiter comes we're not the food. Going it's that you're so excited. I don't know how you don't yeah, notice that. Gus, come on. We'll real, wrap. real, really quick, okay. and then we'll wrap. I will say, uh, as far as Gus being pissed off for like ordering food and stuff, uh, Lindsay and I went out with him and Esther like a couple weeks ago, and the bill came out, and I looked at the bill, and like Gus put his money down, and I'm like looking at how, or I think I actually looked at it first, and like I put all my money down, and Gus was like, Is, "Are you good?" And I was like. Yeah, it's fine. And Gus was like, oh my God, thank yeah, God. Like, like you like, are crunching all the numbers in your head and like you watched me put money down and you're like, please leave it, please leave it. Yeah, you leave looked it. at the bill, you put money in and you handed it to me and I thought, oh fuck, here we go, right? And you had like given the perfect amount. Like in my head, I'd already figured out what you should have paid, what I should have paid well, and with the and tax tip. and tip. Yeah, yeah. And you had left like the dead on amount I would have left. I was like, are you good? Do you need change? I think is what yeah, I said. Yeah, Gus, like, like, no, Gus was like, no. How much change do you want? I'm like, none, that's it. And he was like, oh my God, thank you, holy it's, shit. I think that's the only time in my life that has ever fucking happened. He was happened. like, no joke, Gus was delighted. He's like, I, I want to thank you. I want to thank you on this day. The bill's been paid, I'm done. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's it. We got to wrap. Nope. Yes. What else are we talking? We actually covered everything in the list today. I'm really surprised. You have a list? Nope. I didn't cover a okay, single thing on my list. About natural selection Your too. list I wish we were talking is a little more about that. So, Gus and I played a game called Natural Selection Two. It's a oh, Steam game. It's game. an asymmetric game where we do let's play. One person is playing an RTS style game and giving us orders while the rest of us are in FPS mode. It's actually really really cool. Yeah, it came I out. I've forgotten about it. It came out I think October 30th. I just remembered this past week and I spent all weekend playing. God, I want to play my computer. Ton of fun. Kara, sorry about your uh, turkey that we tore apart. No, the thing was, the no thing one was is terrible, sorry. So. It was annoying yeah. and stupid. Yeah, sorry about All that. All right. Well, on that note, we're going to wrap. Uh, sorry, you guys, you're going to miss me next week, but I'm sure you'll find someone else to sit here. Seriously, what are we going to do? I don't know. Figure it out. Uh, anyway, uh, have a good oh, Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S., fuck you. Uh, wow! <laughs> you know, see, you week. thought it was a, you thought it was a conspiracy, but it's actually true. There it is. This is my first. All Thanksgiving. content makers in the U.S. hate the people in. in I've Europe. never done this before. What's that? Thanksgiving. Do you not have a Thanksgiving? Oh in my God! England? What we no? What we you give them thanks for? Fat. Food or something? Yes, for food. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, bye. <laughs> 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 it's gone long enough. Bye. <laughs>